All right. Well, we are back, huh? We're back at the Nine Club. Stop and chat. Today, we have a very special, special, special returning guest. Mr. Jamie Foy is with us. How are you, dude? I'm doing good. Dude. Glad to be back for the third time. Yeah. Love it, dude. Welcome back. We're going Definitely. We're, we're going to set a record here, I, I believe. I believe. You're, okay. I, you're, you're really fun to talk to, dude. I appreciate you're it. Thank you. Good I mean, dude fun. And- Fun stories to tell. Yeah, a lot man. of things happen. How's yes. how's everything going so far in, in 2022? I mean, it's almost over. Yeah, so yeah we it's got about, 2023 about to end. Yeah. But uh, it's it. it's been fun. A lot of running around. I mean, it's like kind of the first year back. I would say in the sense of like a lot of the world is open again, and mm-hmm. you know, it's just like a lot of competitions were happening. Uh, traveling a lot for all types of stuff. I mean, yeah, yeah. It's funny. I think I was talking to Beagle was asking me because I went to South Korea with Beagle and the like Baker Deathwish dudes and. Uh, I was just, he was like, man, how many flights you got on this year? And I was like, I don't know. Like, cause he was just like wondering, cause I always tell him whenever he's hit me up, like, oh, like you skating? I'm like, nah, I'm going here. I'm going there. And he's just like, mm-hmm. and I was like counting it down. It was so many. It was like, yeah, I don't know, like 50 flights or maybe something Damn. like that. That's wow. a lot. Wow. Yeah. And yeah. a lot of them international too. Uh, yeah. Like half. Like, half? yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, well, it was nice like miles. there and back type stuff. Yeah. Sure. Love. Oh yeah, were you Delta? Delta yeah, yeah, try to get my miles up, and yeah, yeah, yeah. upgrades come, and yeah, I mean, it just makes traveling a lot easier. For sure. Oh, upgrade! I mean, business class. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, a that's yeah, it's like a new thing Ooh. for me, and then every time I get it, I'm stoked. Yeah. So hyped. Who doesn't like upgrades? Yeah, oh. I know. I just hit plat- I just hit platinum on American. Go. I'm a fucking high. Ah, American, <laughs> oh man. I, 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 dude, How I many flights are delayed? No, How no, many flights do you have? No, delayed? I've been good. I've been all good. Every time I get an American flight. Which is not recent. Recently is never, yeah. <laughs> pretty much, because I'm only flying Delta. Yeah. But like, if I'm fl- like, I've gotten a ra- random American flight, and it's just like every time is delayed, and it's like sometimes I'll miss my layover, and I'm like, ah, oh, that's can't do this. That's always delayed, and they always will lose your luggage. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I can't deal with that stuff. I need like security with um, when I'm traveling, and since I'm like flying Delta all the time, you get the app, you can track your bags, mm, like all types of random okay. stuff. Like, well, do you do you uh, book your own flights, or do you like have somebody book it, and then you kind of tell them like, hey, dude, no layovers, no none you, of this bullshit? Yeah, usually my manager. Okay. Uh, yeah, I usually go through the border. Like Got that's you. the guys who hit me up, and they're like, hey, you need to do this, do this, or if I wanted to go do something, like I'll book my own flight through my app, and it's just like usually pretty mellow. Okay. It's all, I got to, like the american express card with delta too oh. so like nice. it's just like sometimes i like to buy my own flights because then you if you get reimbursed you can get like double miles type mm. stuff so it's like little, I like I like little loopholes you just try to make i as, love it i like that way of thinking right? yeah. try to make as many points as you can off a dollar you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah dude what else gotcha. what else are we buying on that american express <laughs> yeah, what I, I put doing? everything on it just because you know that's getting as many miles as you, you can do. and yeah. it's just cool because you get a lot of miles you get fl- like you get buy flights with miles with the rewards stuff, points like, and all yeah. that too yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. so traveling dude you got i mean you're good you just said you're going back home uh yeah, yeah. for the holidays about to go back home yeah. for the holidays uh, it's always nice to go back to fi- like the time of the year where florida is like mm. the most beautiful place to be in my mind just like it's warm but and, you know it's winter time it's warm but then you still have like random weeks of like 60s or right. 70s 60s you know it's very rare that you'll go like 50s and stuff that's like only nighttime so it's like usually right. like great you can still go to the beach you can still skate still sweat like you know i still love like love hoodie weather but it's like yeah. nice to like like being in la right now it's almost like freezing for me so it's yeah. Like, yeah we're all feeling that exactly yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. i know it's like it gets crazy because it'll be super hot here and then super cold so it's mm. just like you know you get like if you don't leave the house here without a sweater it's like you're oh, yeah. gonna be yeah yeah you're gonna yeah. be so cold at i night. have a whole wardrobe wardrobe in my car just yeah, to, yeah for you know because yeah, you could leave vacation? you could be down here at the beach yep. and it'd be like 70 you know 60s or something mm-hmm. you go into the valley it's damn near 100 yep. yeah and that's I mean, where i'm at yeah so i'll oh, be yeah. like i'm in the valley so like literally some days it'll be like i've had days this summer i think it was like 115 during the day and then at night it would be like 60 degrees so mm-hmm. at that temperature change it feels like it's freezing at night compared yeah. to like what it was before sure, especially right. if you're used to that heat like, yeah and i'm know. just used to like Seriously. tropical mm-hmm. humid heat and it's like 80 degree like it'll be 95 at in the daytime and then at night it'll be 83 Ooh. like humid still like you know it's like you go outside at night you still are just sweating oh, like you know valley for you yeah i mean that's like kind of what i'm used to and it's like it's just like uh it's like it's way different now. It's like I always got to make sure I leave with a hoodie, right? Because that way, if I don't have a hoodie at night, I'm just bummed. Like yeah. growing up, I only had like two hoodies. Now my closet, I have like <laughs> so many. I literally only had a couple of jackets to go to school with. That was like the main thing. Is it was cold in school. Like yeah. you know, you get to use it as a pillow. <laughs> yeah, exactly. There you go. Yeah, there you, go. Go. you get the hoodie to like 
stay warm and usually like get a, have a pillow but now it's like i actually have to have hoodies in la I have so many hoodies but it's nice i love it what 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 class would you would you snooze in the most uh i don't know it was hard just depending on the teacher you know you kind of yeah. gotta you gotta like you gotta <laughs> feel out yeah you gotta feel out what teacher is like sometimes you know like oh as soon as i put my head down they're not they're gonna just say something to me right or it's like, oh, I can get away with like ten minute nap. You know, the lights go down. You're watching a movie. Ooh, oh that's yeah, the best, yeah, that's the best. Yeah, yeah. Oh, movie <laughs> day. What kind, of, yeah. what kind of school you going to? You watching Mrs. Doubtfire? What hey, is random going on? days. You never know. You get like a sub. That's the no, time. Dude, yeah. When you have I a remember sub, they like, oh yeah, sub. Yeah, talk to me later. You yeah, yeah. <laughs> they play something work. like La Bamba or something. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> like <laughs> something random. So random, bro. I'd be like, let's go. Yeah, anything, dude. They got to get the AV club to wheel in the TV with the VCR. Oh, they always play i think a lot of schools watch freedom riders which is a great movie freedom riders mm, yeah, okay. it's a really good movie yep, yep. i feel like growing up that's what i like majority of people were like oh freedom riders is what was like in a t in in school like they're just like always in language arts or whatever yeah part of the which is funny because i was like so bad at language arts even though i speak english it's like <laughs> yeah, terrible yeah, yeah. like that hadn't come out before yeah that, that, before, yeah, that I mean, was after honest, my time yeah exactly yeah yeah <laughs> but like nowadays like yeah but yeah i mean i always loved when sc with school it was like oh man watch a movie i'm down with that that's right yeah. oh my around. god that's the best shit yeah, yeah so you're going back to florida and do you do you like going back you go back and forth quite a bit don't you yeah i go back a lot i mean yeah. it's always nice to just switch things up right. you know it's just like you know sometimes things get stagnant mm -hmm. i mean especially like i feel like being in la it's like hard with skate spots sometimes oh, yeah. you know it's like sometimes you're gas on going back to something that you've always been to and like totally. a lot of the spots here is like kind of things you've been to a lot yeah. except for the random things that do pop up yeah. and like once that happens i feel like it's always like unless you found the spot like if someone else finds the spot post on instagram it becomes like a it's a hot spot, a hot spot. Yeah. like yeah, yeah like recently like yeah like that i think the ledge over the grass gap in east la like mm. nowadays oh, like, yeah, oh, yeah. 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 that little that little up. um uh, I think it was like a apartment building area, but it's like a gap. Everybody's gone oh, yeah, there, yeah, cement yeah, gap. Yeah, I don't yeah, even yeah. know. I don't know where it's at. Oh, a little yeah. uh, construction. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As soon as it goes on the ground. <laughs> yeah. like, Where's that? Where's yeah. that? You know, so I mean, clip, like, the thing about that spot too, it doesn't even look that big. Yeah, yeah. It just looks like a little old gap. Yeah, because exactly. It looks it's fun. Like, yeah, same with the ledge. It's like it literally. That's the thing. It's like, oh wow, that looks fun. Like, right. and then it's like literally, like, I went to the ledge over the grass gap. I've been there twice. Every time I've gone there, it was at least three different crews there already. Like, oh, it's wow. literally crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Had to, like, drive by, leave, come back later, and mm -hmm. then eventually just be like, oh, y'all been here for three hours? Like, <laughs> yeah. I checked a few spots out. Now I can just, like, come in, right? Like, I can just, like, You guys join. on your way out, right? Uh, yeah, you guys yeah. about to leave. I can yeah. just join the squad. <laughs> like, yeah. The, the schoolyards are the worst, though. Once, yeah. once a schoolyard gets out, I mean, you go there on a Saturday, it might yeah, as well yeah, be yeah. A, a fucking it's a school skate skate session. Park. Yeah, yeah. yeah crazy that's the yeah. only thing about living in southern california is like all your spots will be blown the fuck out yeah, yeah. yeah. you gotta just catch it yeah. like on a and, and then that's the thing day. it's like it sucks because it's like you know i mean especially for me it's like i have a lot of friends and like friends have friends and those friends have friends so it's like <laughs> you'll like find a spot and show a friend or something and like your homies are going there and then like after a while like a couple more people go there and then they like the go there with thing. different people oh, you know gosh, and then bro. by the time like you know in a matter of no time it's like kind of a blown out spot For in sure. la especially yeah. it's cool though going back to florida like there's a lot of new stuff being built i mean miami's yeah. like it was amazing growing up obviously like it's not it hasn't changed in the sense of like it being a really good fun place to skate but they are developing a lot of new things down there right. so not a lot of new things are popping up and a lot of the homies out there are like skating around still and like still making spots or finding spots or spots that i like skated or wanted to skate when i was younger that like got capped or like now we uh, go on knob spots or make yeah. it skatable like uh, nmb has been a really hot spot in miami now like which, i don't know which spots at that nmb is the blue hubba yeah, in miami hubba. Yeah, yeah north oh, miami yeah. Beach you just hubba. had a, uh, an ad uh yeah the dickies ad dickies ad, right. no slide mm -hmm. yeah yep. and like that's the thing like that thing is like it was crazy because that was a hot spot kind of back in the day like that growing up i'd always true. like see that like i was like oh that and then adp hubba which is a white hubba yep. with a red rail on that it like growing up it was like, like no a tile run up that, yeah no run up, right? not a lot of run up yeah. but and there's the one in the back too yeah but it was like tile smooth ground mm. so i remember those were like the two main hubbas growing up in footage in miami like i seen those i was like oh that's miami and nowadays it's there like it oh yeah there it is there it is but yeah nowadays it's like now it's being sessioned but when i was growing up and i was living there like there was some knobs on it. No one ever skated it. Like, and then it's funny because all it takes is someone like the knobs looked like they were impossible to get off. There was just like iron bars that looked <laughs> welded on, yeah. oh but they were like, it's concrete. So they kind of like just nailed the bars in 
and then just like put like epoxy around it. So it, uh, it was weird because it looked like the metal was almost like welded onto concrete mm-hmm. somehow, mm-hmm. but it was just like liquid nails on top of like actual nails that they put in. And then uh, some dudes went there. I think like a Philly dudes went there and unknobbed it. Freed mm-hmm. it and freed it and then like did it perfect yeah i mean they just made it like so many different it's funny though because now like like i i did that job that day i think because they've now that so many people have been skating it now they're just like we got a solid six months of the same job being there Mm -hmm. and now i think almost every other time we go there we have to redo it because the school chips it out oh yeah oh that little notch thing yeah so the notch goes all the way up and around all the way down damn and it's funny because i didn't know that growing up i didn't even think about that like someone did that back in the day because i just thought those notches were part of the new knobs when no they just knocked out the bondo or concrete Mm, whatever they did and then all they really did was put the bars on it right Mm, and once you realize like the philly dudes crowbarred it off i heard and then bondoed it i did to the other side and it's just like it was cool that we could skate both sides and it was super fun because i mean growing up i didn't even i couldn't even skate that growing up because it's so tall like as a kid but now that's literally like going there is like so much fun because it's, it's such, such a, a mellow hub. Uh, yeah, it's like yeah. Yeah. perfect. It's hot though. It's a really, it's a, like not just a hot spot for people going, but yeah. it's a hot, hot spot. It's like, hot. There's no trees there. There's no nothing. Thankfully, the landing, you can go into a, like, it's a little, a little overhang corridor yeah. hang. But like, if you're not, if you're not standing or sitting in there, it's a hot spot. Yeah. Just go light it up. Who's yeah, painting yeah. That? We light it up a lot. Oh, yeah. there you go. Who's painting that thing? That thing looks yeah, we painted blue. it. Yeah, you glossy, paint it? glossy blue. Okay, I was gonna, yeah. I was gonna say. Well, not that... the actual whole hubba, but just like where the notch is. Yeah, yeah. We like when we took the a whole hubba. Yeah, <laughs> when we uh, chipped the stuff off, we got a little paint chip. Okay. Like okay. try to color match it at this place. <laughs> that's you color matched it. <laughs> try to Home like, Depot. You know, got yeah. Color match. It looks yeah. solid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and then you just get a little spray paint, whatever spray paint's closest to it, and then just go there and dice it. I mean, you try to make it look nice so they don't take it out. But yeah, recently they. They don't care. Yeah, they could They're, have done it in Photoshop. Yeah, I. they could have. I'm saying I want the people at the school to leave it forever because they, they're making it worse by chipping it out. Every time we go there, it's almost a little more wrecked mm, yeah, because they yeah. have to like, the only way to get that out is they're taking a chisel and a hammer. So they're just like, you might as well just leave it. Like, and the, I job, love, the job gets that much tougher to fix. Yeah, like, exactly. Yeah. I love the like, respect for the spot though. You know, it's like you want that spot to survive. You're, you're taking yeah, the, the a, steps to hopefully the school will just let, let it be. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's funny because I've, when I've, I've been kicked out of there and they were like, oh, like, yeah, we know. Like old, like there's a, a principal that was there and he was like, oh, yeah, we know. Like, like, uh, like I went to school. I think he, someone went to school there, and they were a teacher there, and they're like, yeah, like in my day, like people were skating it too. So it's like they know. Okay. It's <laughs> like, come on, like it's been years. For yeah. yeah like, How old's his principal? I, dude, right, I went like, there in like the early two thousands with yeah, Felix and everyone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, dude that, like, yeah. You know, principals I'm always picturing is just old. Nah, yeah, sometimes yeah. they're like, yeah, I, I think it was just a teacher or someone, but yeah, it was like someone mm. like nowadays it's crazy. Like teachers are like you know my yeah, age. Yeah, yeah. yeah. for I sure. Have friends that are teachers. Yeah, exactly. It's like whoa. That's dumb. It looks so much older when you're like, when you're young, you're like, oh, you have so much power. And then you're like, wait, it's just like a person like me They're telling like 40 me years exactly old. what they do. Like, homie, yeah. Yeah. It just dawned like, on me the other day. My, my, uh, my son's teacher, he's seven. He's in second grade. She's 32 years old. Yeah. yeah. Like, Seriously. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Wow, yeah. Dude, like it just, whatever. It oh, just but when you're little, on me. I'm yeah. like, wow. When you're little, these people are giant. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. You're just like, yeah. that's yeah. what I'm you're saying. Yeah. You're old. Yeah. You're like 10. older. Just old. 10. The person's honestly like that you're teaching you could be like 30 which is on like not that not much that, older than know. you like know. realistically you know but like you're like oh like you're the ultimate like you're the ultimate yeah. person that's like exactly. you know you're controlling my situation so yeah, yeah. you yeah. just think they have so much power mm. yeah. but i mean which they do yeah they do <laughs> in the room they do yeah, yeah. Yes. i would think it would like i went to like i would see them in like like Publix or something at the yeah. grocery store I'd be like oh no I can get in trouble here yeah, like, yeah, you know, right. like, teacher that yeah. was always so weird <laughs> yeah <laughs> seeing your teacher outside was so weird yeah it was the weirdest <clears throat> thing ever and then you're like oh like nah it's well, like you still feel like they're like can do something to you and you're like well yeah. wait I'm in the real like I'm just outside now like it's they're just doing school. their thing too they're just yeah, going, they're going just, to get their uh, eggs yeah, and their milk their and their bacon thing. you know <laughs> yeah do you ever talk, do you ever see any uh, teachers that from back in the day like that where you grew up or anything like I haven't rec- I haven't like seen any teachers in so long. Like, you should I go think, back to your high school. I know. I've thought about it. I didn't graduate from any high school because mm-hmm. I like did my last year online. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was just like my mom's a teacher, so she was always dealing with the teachers. Like, because when I was in high school, I was just traveling a lot for contests, and especially the last two years of my high school was kind of like I think I was like sixteen, turned seventeen, which was like tenth going into eleventh grade. I like got 
flow nike shoes and then i started trying to go to like competitions in california all over the place it was getting busy yeah i was getting busy and like with my school i was like in a because in my in my area it's like not a whole lot of great schools so i kind of i went to like try to i like went to this magnet school that you had to get accepted into keep a certain gpa Mm. to stay in it you got fridays off which was my main thing was like oh three day weekends damn like hey. so much sicker than Stack to clips. skate yeah, yeah. or yeah. or like yeah. i could leave on a friday and not miss school and it was like so easy so but then it got to a point where you have to keep this gpa and do all this work and i would fall behind because all the school i was missing and my mom had to deal with all of it so then finally like 11th grade i finished that and i was like talking to my mom i was like hey like let's just avoid the headache and like do online like and she was just like finally gave into it she's a teacher she knows how like online school is i obviously once i did online i was slacking off and stuff for sure took me an extra like three months to complete it and stuff than it would it would have been but it was nice though like being able to come out to california for a couple months and like it definitely changed the game for me dude definitely i mean that's the point in time where a lot of stuff's happening for like an up-and-coming skater yeah exactly for sure uh but what does that mean online is it a is it a ged or is it an actual diploma no it's an actual diploma diploma it wasn't like a yeah it was florida virtual uh flvs it's like Mm. florida virtual school and it's just pretty much there's a couple different programs you can do that are all different like things it's like if you don't drop out you know i never dropped out i just like it's like pretty much switching schools like switched my regular high school to this online high school and it was mainly for people that were like trying to do like stuff other stuff like yeah people that were busy or like a a lot yeah people have a life or have a job like can't like there's some like you know some kids that are in situations if they can't like they have to take care of their family and they're like still kids themselves going to school, you know, it's just crazy. Yeah. There's a lot of different situations out there. So it's kind of cool that you can just do school online. I think that's like one of the best things. It's just, you have to want to do it though. Yeah. Cause I had to complete at a time. I was like, Oh, I want to do it. And then once I was doing it, I was just like, Oh, I could just do this later. (laughs) Yeah. 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 A lot of shit's shit's going on. The thing that I love about your whole story and just your coming up and everything. And just even hearing about this, uh, online school is like your parents just so supportive. Oh yeah. No, I mean, even to this day, Hey, I mean, yeah. they were. What, did, did they come to the last Tampa Pro? When yeah, you, when you won. Or? Yeah, they were there. That was like yeah. it's uh like that was a amazing moment for me because that was one of the first times I've seen my parents together oh, actually wow. in like almost my whole life. I think maybe. Wow. Oh, that's amazing. My parents got divorced when I was three, mm. but it was like it was mellow. Like it wasn't anything crazy. Uh, like my mom and my dad, they only lived 20, 30 minutes away from each other. I would just like it was split custody. So you see them both. Yeah, so I'd you, see them yeah. both. Like my mom had majority of custody because I would see her, like I would be with her at her house most of the time. But like every Wednesday and every other weekend, I'd go to my dad's and stuff. Okay. So right. it was always back and forth. And like if it was cool because it was like two different areas. My mom was out west, like closer to like where a lot of my friends are in my school, mm-hmm. like that, where it was. And then like my, my dad was closer to the beach area. So it was like, and I also had friends that I grew up with over there in that neighborhood. Almost my, best, best of both worlds. Exactly. Kind of, it yeah. was cool. Like I, since I was three, when they got divorced, I didn't know anything different. Yeah. It was sure. like so normal. Yeah, like, sure. It was just like, oh, I got two Christmases, two birthdays. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, this is great. Yeah, yeah. it's like amazing. Like, you know, it was like nothing, like I didn't really worry anything about it. And, but it was like a thing where like my parents never really were together growing up. I never really had dinner with them together growing up and stuff. But then it was cool. Like, but it's just also when we're younger and like, you know, being divorced is like a whole different thing, I'm sure. Like yeah. stuff that they got to deal with. Growing up, did you like wonder why they weren't together or, uh, like, or did they kind of like, like, I mean, like I, when your parents started dating, did they kind of freak you out or anything like that? No, nah, uh, I could just tell like. I just think they just weren't happy together. Like, I mean, obviously I didn't know cause I was three, but then I could just be like, I could understand it. Cause like, it's weird. Cause in my mind, like my mom and my dad are kind of not polar opposites, but they're kind of opposite. Mm-hmm. Uh, but they both come from like the same type of background where they're both in the military and stuff like that. So I could see, and they both like to party, you know, okay. <laughs> my mom loves to go out and party. My yeah. dad loves to party. So it's like, that was a big thing they connected on and stuff. Nice. But I mean, who knows? Like, life goes by you're together i think they're together like 15 years or something like you know like it's a long time so it's like you know like or yeah 10 15 years whatever so it's like you only put up with someone for so long i get it like you know but it's like cool that we they split up and it was mellow like we go back and forth whenever and like then to see them together at tampa pro was like now that we're older too like all this like you know you kind of set like now me my sisters i'm the youngest so I'm 26 and my my sister's a little older mm. and now we're all older. So now it's just like kind of like water under the bridge. We can yeah. all hang out together. It's cool. Right. Like, That's sick that you guys yeah. could come together and like now you see it and you're yeah. like, damn, this is beautiful. It, like, you Yeah, know, I think it was God. different growing up because my mom could see like, oh, like maybe different parenting styles that mm. were clashing and they would like, we would obviously be kids like, oh, my mom said I could do this. And then my dad, <laughs> oh, you know, like playing the like, yeah. different cards and <laughs> 
things happen. Playing against each one another. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, it's just like things that happen. But now that we're older, it's really amazing. And them being there for that, like, at the time that I won Tampa Pro was like so awesome. Like I have a photo of like with me and my mom together or me and my mom and my dad together. And I think it's like one of the only photos that I have. Obviously one, it's the only photo I have as an adult, like with my wow. mom and dad together, so it was like such an amazing photo, and that's at that time dope. too. Yeah, like, after what, was it at the contest when you yeah, won? Yeah, it was at the contest I won. I think it was the day before, oh, but okay. like, yeah, that, we got one after too. Oh, like, sick. but like the first photo is like the day before, and I'm like, I mean, I love that's that photo. Random. We went out to dinner, like the that we've gone out to dinner as an adult, like before. But yeah, it's way cool now. Now it's like more of a family unit, like for for sure. just because we're all grown up. And when, it's you, all when you got to dinner with your go. parents, are you picking up the check? Uh, yeah, most of the time I do. Yeah, I pretty much like kind of fight my dad for it sometimes. That's awesome. Though. <laughs> my mom, my mom loves it. But that feels <laughs> that must feel so good. Though. Nah, I, I know, yeah, I know. My, like my, the first time I was doing it, like my dad was like, oh, like all so because my dad like was a little more financially better than my mom just because he owned his own business and like they worked a lot and that was I think that was a big problem with my mom and dad too growing up. She would say that he worked a whole lot and I mean that's just what he did to like do what he loves he loves boating it's not cheap you know he likes not like <laughs> not nice thing. cars but like car nice cars nice house like mm -hmm. stuff isn't cheap so i mean he worked his ass off to go get what he wants and provide for the family he always provided for us and everything anything we wanted he would get for us and it was awesome so i feel like that's kind of where i got and my mom also is a really hard worker as well to do what she does and be a teacher and deal with kids so i feel like that kind of plays into my background yeah, with totally. like just like also my dad teaching me i think i said this before on here before mm -hmm. my dad said like if you do what you, if you love what you do for a living you never work a day in your life oh, totally. yeah. so that's kind of a big thing that i got from him yeah. and like it's it's super cool now like being able to hang out and like yeah when i picked up the check with my dad he's just like <laughs> oh like oh man it makes it made him really proud yeah, like he was yeah, so happy because like, sure. yeah he would always be there like when i was like because he was it was funny because my parents are super supportive mm -hmm. and they're very similar but very different my mom, she was always super gun ho about my skating. Like, oh, like I'm taking you. She would take me. She would take me to all the contests. Right. My dad would never really take me to any contests a lot. But like I said, he was literally just caught up in his work. He's an engineer, so and he's one of the only people that can do what he does. He would work by himself, like not with a bunch of other people. So it would take a lot of time from him. But he would always be super supportive. Yeah, there that's a goes. photo right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah, was after I won. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's so sick. But yeah, my dad's got the whole foy fit on. He's got yeah. the foy fit <laughs> on. Yeah, yeah. With the red bull hat too. Yeah, that's yeah, so dude. Sick. That's, that's a red. Brad. Dude. That's a Brad Papo right yeah, there. Nah, Brad Papo. Nah. Yeah. That's like yeah. such a great moment. Like it always gives me chills. Like seeing that. That's like, rad. Nah, it's and awesome. Not Super to mention stoked. that you won. Yeah. yeah. Nah, I know. And my dad was blown away. Like, cause he's. He's like I said, he's never really going to contest that much. Mm -hmm. So he's gone to a few. Like whenever my mom like really couldn't go and I really wanted to go, like and if it was a weekend, because that's obviously when they usually are, he wouldn't work on the weekends as much. So mm -hmm. he would be like, okay, like if you want to go, I can take you. So and he would be there he here and there, but like my mom always taking me to every contest. Right. She would, I wouldn't even know a competition. She would like, hey, like there's a contest in Georgia. Like you want to go? And I'm like, sure. Like, <laughs> well, you know, wow. like, yeah, she was super gun ho, but she was so, super gun ho about all types of things. Like with my family, like my sister's doing gymnastics growing up. She was super gun ho about it. If they were, they were into gymnastics and they wanted to go do it. My mom was like, oh, we could, they signed up with like this place, American Twisters is by my house. And they were always there like tw I love two that. to three times a week. They go to competitions. They went to Vegas for a competition when I was a baby. Like, Hell it's yeah. like, yeah, she was always down to like, you know, support us and m emotionally support us with like sports. Super and she always said that she was growing up doing like a cheerleader and like I love that, doing man. being a, and she was in the Marine. She went into the Marine. So she always liked being a physical person, like mm -hmm. trying to like, you know, like make the best of what you got and always enjoy it. So mm -hmm. it's super cool. Like my mom growing up, she was always like, yeah, like I, she said I had to finish school, like uh, high school. Like that was the main thing. I was like, I wanted to drop out at a certain time. And I was like, oh, like, no, my friend, like I have friends that dropped out and stuff like that. She's like, no, no way. Like Same. you got to finish school. That's the least you got to do. What grade did uh, your mom teach? She teaches like seventh grade, dude. Right. Like, oh, that's a tough. The yeah. worst. Yeah. Like, <laughs> very tough. And it's, it's a weird she, point. It's all, all middle school. Like she's like, she's worked at the same middle school, I think for almost 20 years. Ooh. Wow. It's been a long time. She's like the longest teacher, I think, there. Like maybe her and like one other person. And uh, she's seen like so many people come and go from that school. And 
it's not like a great school so she gets and she gets the uh the kids that are like kind of low grade math mm -hmm. okay. so it's like she really has to put up with a lot of stuff like totally. with well, the people that don't want to learn like that's the hardest yeah. thing to do you know yeah. you want to teach you can't like you, you can teach force it, though. exactly mm -hmm. it's like you're trying to teach these kids that don't want to learn so it's like really hard like she always like she'll call me a lot and like tell me about the things like things yeah. that goes on and I mean, it's definitely hard. I mean, yeah. imagine doing your job and like people don't want to listen to people you. People don't like, care. Yeah. 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 Do people like, trip out that uh, like that you're like, her son? Uh, sometimes it's very rare where she's at. It's like that's the thing. It's weird with Florida. It's like we don't have a whole lot of skate parks. I think uh -huh. so. It's kind of like skaters are in certain areas and mm -hmm. kind of where she teaches there's not a whole lot of skating over there okay they're like we're trying to get there's starting to get more skate parks in florida which is going to be sick it's going to change like it's going to be a big change in south florida like we sure. have amazing skaters already but just once it gets to the masses and a lot of public skate parks open mm -hmm. in south florida yeah. it'll be a whole different thing yeah. for sure but like growing up she did have like you should have random rounds of skaters come in uh yeah. like when i was a kid i would go help her at her school and there were some like random skaters that would be there and it would like i'd meet them and stuff and then like i think once i turned pro there's like maybe one to two kids that like she's like oh like uh i think there's this one kid she was telling me about there's this kid that she he was he's slacking off he's slacking off he's like not doing what he was saying he would be doing it was just a normal kid in middle school you know mm -hmm. and she she was like oh you skate and he's like yeah and then she's like oh well like my son's like jamie foy and she, he was like kind of like was like no way like <laughs> yeah. it's like kind of blown away and then she's like well yeah like you know like i could like you like want to you want to get a magazine signed or something and she, he's like yeah i'd love that he's like she's like all right well do some work oh, yeah, yeah. Right. i got you like you know like she's using right. you as bargaining yeah. chips a little bit she's just <laughs> like, trying to, takes, trying to help these kids takes. you know like sometimes to help these kids you know like you gotta do what you gotta do oh, straight yeah. up. and i mean she told me that and i was like oh cool like you know like i mean because there's so many kids that don't want to learn so anything that she could do to get some kids stoked to like maybe make her day better mm -hmm. i'm down for it totally. yeah, sure. and the kid ended up never doing his work anyways dude so no. i never even yeah you never dude. even got him up nah oh, but that's the thing man. like it's just crazy you just like called him out yeah man it's i mean she was telling you me about it. she was like it's it. crazy like <laughs> I want. Get, he was so excited, and I don't get why he didn't do the work after. Yeah. Like, yeah, it was you gotta crazy. wait till he's done. Yeah, you should get some uh, posters signed and leave him in there. And so when she's like dangling, just hey, dangling up. Not even that. How about, hard, how about like, a couple boards? You know, uh, some I know, wheels. Right? Yeah, yeah, she's yeah, got you know? way more. Of she's got boards flying house. out the yin yang over at her house. See? Like, That's what I'm saying. So she could do what she wants. I mean, I give her like try to send as many like two to three of my each graphics right. to her. And now it's getting to the point where it's like so many boards. She's like, oh my God. I'm like, hey, you're the one who said you wanted them all. Like, But it's rad to have a place <laughs> to go that, that, you know, that, to store them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I always try you're to gonna keep them You're going to look back on that and be like, damn, these are all my boards. Yeah, yeah. exactly. So, so sick. Yeah. Uh, we were just talking about Tampa Pro. We got to talk about this. Because like, you know, I mean, you won the... Uh, Oh yeah, what dude? You won the you Tampa were Pro. You are this fucking, fucking one, dude. Fucking psycho, bro. Yeah, it's funny because I'm usually so bad at runs. Like, I mean, I skate street leagues all the time. I don't never really do good at street leagues. No, but you killed. I've this made one. one. I've made one street league final in my entire really? street league That's career. A, this trick right here. Ooh, yeah, so that, that was like such a good feeling trick in that run. Like, that was like one of the ones I was worried about. Like, I was like, if I can land that one, then I'm like, good. I'm good. like pretty solid. Right. Well, because you were like doing front nose sometimes. Like, you yeah, were, it's yeah. one of those tricks where it's like you know you're doing that a whole lot, so it's like you can just easily mess it up. But yeah, it's did like, you break your rib before this run or something? Uh, or? I think that was the year prior. That was the year prior. Yeah, okay, it was the year prior. Bad. I hurt my rib, and okay. I still did pretty good. I was stoked. Damn. But yeah, still, this, this year, dope, man. yeah. I mean, it's funny. I was like, oh, rock to fakie. Like everyone's doing like blunt fakies and blunt kick flips nah. in the middle of their runs. I'm like, oh, I don't. That won't gonna... change that. That won't change yeah. the run that much. I know. I'm just yeah. like, it's <laughs> things that you think you're like, oh, I'm just like doing like nothing kind of. But it's like I'm not. I don't even think I flipped my board one time. You know like, what though? I would rather see you do a rock fakie than to get up on the platform, turn around, turn exactly. around, yeah. put the board back down, yeah. drop in again. That's kind of where I'm at yeah. too. It's like I I rather try to keep, keep my whole going. line together yeah. for sure than like try to stop it. And I mean, it's hard for runs. I mean, it's funny because like things like Street League, like it's like, oh, they're talking about like, oh, like now the new format or the format of the last previous year was like they mandatory take one run. Mm -hmm. And for someone like me, that's really hard because I land a good run like maybe 10% of the time. So rare. But dude, so it's hard. hard. Runs are the yeah, hardest part. Yeah, that was the 10% right yeah, there. That was the 10%. You got and it. Yeah. Stoked, you, got you know, it. and that's also three tries. So like you get yeah. three tries at a run. You kind of like, it's a little bit more breathing. Like yeah, rather than a Street format, League, it's two runs. Yeah. And it's like, you know, it's like, it's just different. Like, I think I talked to some people about like street league. I'm saying like run shouldn't matter as much. Some people say they do or they should. Mm -hmm. I think they should. I mean, they shouldn't though because should. yeah. they shouldn't though in the sense. More than, uh, 
I mean, in the sense of like, drink. it should like if you if you can if you're good at runs and you can take that, like that's sick. Like it shouldn't like have to mandatory take one run. Like like those people that get nines in a run, mm-hmm. pretty easy for them, honestly. Yeah, I don't for them that. it's yeah. pretty easy yeah. because mm-hmm. they're that consistent, they're that gnarly. Like it's, I mean, I'm just not that that level. Like in my mind, like it's just like I can't put screen together tricks like that. The consistency, it's, it's exactly, oh, yeah. it's yeah, the consistency yeah. of the of the consistency of the trick difficulty yes you know and the, and the course, back. Yeah, and the course, course yeah. yeah yeah but then it's also it's like when it comes to like well, how street league like street league if it's about streets it's like if you're a street skater it's like you're never doing a 45 second run <laughs> this is true this that is, is true, true. Yeah. a street that's skater true. like you string true. together a 45 second run like they're gonna be like yo <laughs> like this is crazy this no is doubt. too much you know i get you like it i would make sense if like you're like oh get like across there and back get four tricks down and score that as like a line yeah because we do lines like you know it's like, that's oh. pretty good go there and back and yeah because it's, like, it's like it's yeah. literally a line it's yeah. a line yeah. like that's what we do we don't do runs we yeah. do lines as a Straight street down. skateboarder it's like me that's why i think it's so hard for me to string together a run because it's like me practicing, I never practice 45 seconds of a straight sure. run. Like, you know, it's like... It's tiring. The most I'll be doing is like one, two, three tricks. Like, you know, it's like right. a ledge and then a stair set or like a ledge, flat tra- flat ground trick, and then another ledge. Right. And those are going to take me three it's hours. It's very rare. It's very rare. <laughs> those it does line, happen, though. Dude. Those lines are going to yeah, take yeah. me three hours of time. It's like so hard, you know? Just break down that run and just think of it as like three separate lines. So oh, so then hard. multiply that three hours yeah. by four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna be there for twelve hours trying to do this damn thing, dude. <laughs> but uh, I agree with you though. In street skating, you're really doing it. You're doing trick by trick by trick. Yeah, it's never you're not really like it's do- never a f- string of eight tricks Have unless you're LeVar McBride or LeVar McBride or something like that would do yeah that. I mean that's the thing and then like majority of those tricks is like the <laughs> last I say it's very rare yeah. that the that last happens. four tricks are flat ground flat tricks ground. going yeah. down the street exactly. yeah, 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 yeah you know come on like it's like yeah, different yeah, it's not yeah, like I understand, yeah. blunt kick flip full cat back lip switch flip front 50 yeah switch blunt big spin front blunt fakey fakey front side flip the hip like that's yeah. a like which me, is typical yeah. see me saying that just sounds like insane in my mind but like I know people in street league that can complete that run, no problem. Oh, yeah. Jagger or something like yeah, that. Yeah, it's just like yeah, Those Jagger, can, uh, Gustavo, Gustavo, like, yeah. and it's th- it's nothing towards them or anything. Like it's like they're really good at runs. They're yeah. super consistent, yeah. and that's amazing. When like, you're sitting just, in that audience and you see someone do a line like that, yeah, or a run like no, that, it's you're insane. Like, Fuck yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like yeah. every time I'm at the sidelines of the final, because I'm usually not really in the final. So every time I'm at the sidelines and I'm watching the runs, even the final last tricks are nuts, right. and I'm just like. Thank God I'm not out there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Jesus Christ. Did like, you watch Tampa line, Am? Tampa Am, I was there. I oh, pulled up. There? It was okay. sick. Yeah, that's cool. I love watching contests. Dude, those kids so it. sick. They they were, were, they they yeah, yeah. It's so fun watching contests. Like it's like not being in it and just like maybe like friends are in there and they just ask you like for advice and you know, yeah. you like it's just like cool. It's a really fun setting. And it's just like that's the thing with me, it's like contests, like I do love going to competitions. Uh I'm a little competitive. Mm-hmm. but it's like more of a friendly competition competitive and if it's and that's just like with my friends and then when it comes to real competitions i'm mainly competitive with myself sure i'm not worried about someone else beating me i'm just worried about me not doing as good as i thought i could do or as good as i think i'm gonna do so that's like kind of the main thing if i get bummed it's like just because i let myself down has how i feel yeah. and i mean it's just like normal it's just how it is and it's just like kind of goes away in a little bit but it's cool because like then like at like at the Street League Super Crown. I mean, it was a really good course, like in the sense of like, I liked the stuff there. Some of the angles were a little weird for certain things, but like compared to previous courses, like that one was pretty cool. Like it was a lot of fun to skate, really good options and mm. a lot of options. And then I didn't land my whole run that I thought I had and mm. boom, blew it. As soon as you miss your run, like I said, you can't take a six in a run, like impossible. Yeah. It's not gonna happen nowadays. Yeah. I can't make up for it in the final tricks. Mm. So I just try to land like the hardest trick I could do on that gap rail, and I just didn't land anything. But it's so funny because I'm like all bummed. Like, Jesus. Jesus. Run, oh. man. Spoiler, <laughs> spoiler alert. Uh, Jamie, did you catch uh, that kid Jin Woo's like three minute run? Uh, I watched it. I watched his on the phone. Thank you, bud. Or wait, are you talking about his uh, jam session where he didn't land, where he didn't miss anything? Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah I watched that one. That was on the qualifying that day. That was psycho. Yeah, it was insane. Yeah. His board kind of 
freaks me out though. Like well, it's, it's small, just, it's, it's small. super small he's wheelbase. Yeah, 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 yeah. I just built for him. Yeah, it just looks like the wheels are so close but together. A, like, but imagine crazy. him on your board; <laughs> it'd probably be a, a tank. Yeah, exactly. Oh, but I mean, yeah. he's just a small kid. You know, yeah. he's still yeah, super yeah. young, and it's just like, yeah, it's insane though. What he can do with that board is nuts. It's psycho. The you, consistency of it. Yeah, it's insane. Yeah. Yeah. Do you like doing the uh, like a best trick compared to like a? Yeah, I mean, I'm more of a thirty. Give me thirty minutes, I'll try to land one thing. You know, that's like kill it on the. That's like my thing. Like, dude, this front crook nollie flip. We got a couple bales here. Yeah, but I, I like yeah. to watch the bales, to be honest with you. I like to watch the process. Yeah, exactly. You see, like that. It's like, yeah. I was trying to flip out, but it wasn't working. So just you, take a shot. How many take, best tricks have you won? Like at the Tampa? Yes. Tampa Ooh. is two. It's my second one, I think. Yeah. Yeah, because the other one was one, the one Tampa blunt. and How many of you lost? <laughs> yeah, no. The Three. front blunt, 270 to, to nose. <laughs> that one is one of the ones I'm like most hyped on because that's like a dream trick that I've done on flat bars. And I can just do it on a straight flat bar. Mm, yeah. But I've always thought about doing it on something. I was hoping to be in the streets if I could ever find something. But yeah. it's almost not impossible, but it's really hard. You'll find it. So, like, once I got to that that course, like, the previous year, they had the across and down rail. I was like, ooh, like, it's not that long of a down rail. It's not that tall. Like, it's like, I might be able to do it. Are and you eyeballing it, it out when you get there? You're like, ooh. The, okay, yeah, I mean, I'm thinking about, like, things all weekend. I like It's funny because this time is, like, this is, like, yeah, I got it back to back, and it was like Jack got second, I think, the year before. Mm. And oh like, yeah, he was fucking that thing. Yeah, up he's too. like, you know, so we were kind of had a little like talk before. We we're like, oh, we're gonna see, like son of a gun, <laughs> son of a gun. We'll see who gets it. Like trying to like see if even if one of us get it, but like trying to see like just have a little friendly competition. It's he did fun. like on the other one, the the flattened out yeah, like, one, her, kick feeble, kick flip feeble, back, back, nose, blunt? back nose blunt. Yeah. yeah, not back lip, back nose blunt. Yeah, yeah. Wait, who did that? Jack, Jack Olson. Jack Olson. Oh, kick flip. Back feeble to back nose blunt that down. So yeah. uh, these ones were amazing. This was from uh, this last year, right? Yep. This is the previous year. Yeah. 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 This one looked like you were just everybody fucked it up. You on were this just one, slowly figuring exactly. it out. Exactly. I was like, just front blunting it and seeing yeah. like how it would feel, and literally like all of them felt insane. <laughs> what do you mean? Like just like because I'm used to like trying to turn and land on a rail that isn't disappearing from me. You oh, know, like you. the down right. rail, it's lower than where you're starting off. Mm -hmm. So trying to t like I would turn almost too much. Oh, because oh. like yeah, you're coming back down. Yeah, on yeah, 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 you know, you're compensating you for the difference to. of the rail, so it's a little different. And like, fine, I would just keep hit like tipping over, kind of. I would tip over, but I would try like all the ones I would get in good and slide good. Like that was the one I was like, I'm gonna commit to one and see what happens. This one right here. Yeah. And Ooh, like, okay. I was like, all right, finally, I got a fall. Like that was like a fall in my mind. Like it's gonna happen. And then I kind of like obviously one of the hardest things too is getting a good slide. Sure. Mm -hmm. With something like that, it's all about getting a good slide. And I just kept touching the tip of my nose when I was 180ing into the nose blunt, and it wasn't really working that well. And then finally, I was just like, "All right, I'm gonna try to like mash it in there." And mm -hmm. yeah, I don't know. I just remember like the only one I really got into it worked. Yeah, right here, I think. This one. Yeah, with Felipe. Oh, I, mean, I, I love that one. That's a one that I mean, you turned your hips like a different way. That it was like, all right, just worked. I kind of looked. I think I looked behind me before. Yeah. yeah kind of like exactly. looked behind me before I popped. And it was sick because it was right. I think after like Felipe did switch the back tail. I think Felipe Gustavo did switch flip back tail across, right, and I got his right back. After. So I mean, I I do love hype. I mean, yeah, it's just like a backing up <laughs> oh, homies. Look at that! You popped it so yeah. nice. And yeah, the slide yeah. was great, bro. It was it was watching. It was like I don't know if he has this one. Not not notice respect, but it was nah, just it was like, like hail mary. It was hail mary. Yeah, and then full that hail one. mary. And we, it was funny. We're like, what do we call this? Front blunt to nose blunt? Yeah, that's front? what I call it. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's just like or they had no slide. Yeah, it's like, yeah, no whatever. Slide, yeah. Like teach his own. Oh, you blunted that nose slide, yeah. Oh, that's, yeah, dude, that was so that good, That was man. psycho. Nah, that was like something that I'm still to this day stoked. It's like a dream trick. <laughs> kind of like the back Straight 50 up. body burial switch 50 that I did on the Triple King and Ty's video a long time ago. It's oh, just like oh, yeah. something I think is like a pipe dream that like comes out working. So mm -hmm. it's just like, I would have loved for it to be in the streets. Like I would have, I would have like still. You know what though? I Where's that spot though? Like, exactly. You know. So yeah. you, you know, never know. You'll find yeah, one for sure. It'll, it'll come it up. might yeah, be over in like the middle of Oklahoma. Definitely. You never know. Yep. You never know. So it's like, just go find a spot and see see what happens. But that was so sick. No, nah, I mean I'm stoked. I could have done it. Right. I did it there and like, it was like something. Yeah, so MBD, hyped. MBD. I was so gassed because the whole time I was didn't even lock into any. So like the only one I locked into, I landed. Yeah. I was super stoked. Did you too. black out? Did you black out on? Nah, that? no blackout on that no one. No blackout. Nah, because it took too take too too many things are happening. Yeah, mm. have to really like. It's not like pop, get in, land. It's yeah, like, true, true. Pop, get in, slide good, turn your shoulder. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, it's just like, <laughs> like five sequences is like right? the thing about it. Yeah, a lot of things going on, yeah. but 
Nah, I mean, I'm super stoked. That was sick. I do do love, you ever black out on tricks? Yeah, I black out a lot. Okay. We talked like, about El Toro. El Toro blacked crook, out. Yes. Uh, yeah, yes. I blacked out on my first day. Like, my first big front crook was uh, the Jefferson Rail, like the Buster Bail Rail in San Francisco. Blacked out on that. Wow. <laughs> Mainly the front crooks, honestly. The Buster Bail. Oh, not during the Buster Bail. Not during the, the Buster right, Bail, but that right, rail. Right, like, right, that rail, we went. Like, that was the first big rail, like yeah it was like 16 or something so yeah. that's like the first big rail in my mind where i was like rolling up i same thing i rolled up for like i think buster bail i rolled up for longer i rolled up for like maybe 45 minutes to an hour just rolling wow. up just burning my rubber in my shoes just trying to go for it wow. but being scared and then, and then did it finally first try? pulled the trigger popped it did it first try blacked out <laughs> so it's kind of like Goodness. repeated on el toro which was cool <laughs> but, <laughs> that's very cool i mean it's just like yeah i don't know it's just like muscle memory you gotta hope that's also why I kind of like grind things. Like I, gr I grinded uh, the Jefferson rail, like, I don't know, 20, maybe 20 times before. Same like El Toro, I grinded it probably at least 20 times before I tried it. Mm -hmm. I just like, I want to be able to know what it feels like, like the yeah. timing. Yeah, That's like a lot for yeah. me is like, it's weird, but it's like things I don't really like think about, but it, things that do play into like my skating when I'm skating spots is like rep repetition, sounds like a lot of sound. i can't skate with headphones in really um, like it's, you know like yeah. the sound of the cracks is like help me judge my speed like all these all these random things hmm. you know would I you throw down at a certain crack and like i could tell if i'm going faster or slower by the sound of the cracks right yeah. because you've been going you've been doing it multiple multiple I, like, multiple did 20 times. 50 50s mm -hmm. where this all the speed was relatively the same yeah. and then i know that i should be going that same speed for a normal trick like or not like another trick like a front feeble or a front crook relatively the same speed as a 50 50 yeah. so i know like after doing it 20 times that the one time i'm gassed up to try the front crook obviously adrenaline kicks in mm. or front feeble or whatever adrenaline kicks in you throw down a little bit faster on accident and i'm trying to like avoid something bad happening yeah. and i could tell that i threw down faster on accident because of the sound of the cracks or like all it's this like your heartbeat. Yeah. Yeah, yeah exactly yeah. exactly so it's just like a like you know little things that kind of like keep me in tune mm -hmm. with my surroundings would you say that you can grind a ledge 50 50 a ledge just as easy as uh 50 50 a rail it's harder grinding the rail a ledge <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes uh, why why is more i would more likely miss on a ledge than i would on a why ledge. just because you're That's not amazing. as you're not as focused as as grinding a, a rail well not i mean with a, a ledge is like a, a ledge is like a square rail to me you know it's like a ledge but you can't like a ledge level. has so this uh, this is why i kind of think about it as rails so a okay. square rail in my mind has uh 90 degrees of like lock-in surface okay rather than a, a circle rail is 180 roughly you know yeah it's like you cut the rail when you're grinding a rail a lot of times it's only like the corners mm -hmm. you know if you're grinding a circle rail you can like play with it you know because it's like half of a circle you can like get in the middle of your truck and it doesn't matter where you get in on your truck if you pop touch and put all your weight on your heels for me that's how i think about front 50s it's gonna lock in i'm locking in my front on my double heels almost like majority of the time yeah and with like a ledge it's like you have 45 it, like, degrees yeah say like if your wheel gets on the top of the rail and you're pushing your weight down it could still lock in rather than on a ledge as soon as your wheel's on top of the ledge you're missing the ledge there's no like getting back into it unless you roll a little bit and fall back on yeah, yeah. see i love this thinking because like that's why i never really skated rails mm -hmm. because like i would always miss on a 50 50 on a yeah. ledge and i'm like if i'm missing a 50 50 <laughs> on a fucking ledge nah, i'm like, gonna just eat shit on this same. fucking rail i'm not yeah. why, why even bother i'm yeah. just gonna put myself through hell nah, it's yeah. like a rail it's like you know it's like a it's like a track that's so crazy but i thought it was always so hard to actually balance on the rail that's yeah. why i was scared same same like a round one i'm like you can just slide right and plus off. i didn't have we didn't well we didn't have skate parks that just had different. flat rails yeah. everywhere like to learn i definitely messed my ribs up learning how to 50 50 circle rails yeah. like growing up like i was like always did on square rails and i was like man i need to learn this long because i had a, one of the parks i grew up skating is like a a long bank to bank with a long up across down rail so you can skate the two little circle rails at the end. It's not tall; it's super small, and but the long it's a long flat bar, and they're all connected. So you can grind like if you want to, you could just skate the down rail, or if you want, you can skate bump to rail across and down. Okay. In a circle, I always wanted a fifty fifty the whole thing, and it was pretty much like, oh, I really want to grind it. So every time I would like, it was probably like process of a couple months, just like what I thought was breaking my ribs. Just, you know, just like trying to get in, toes, bam. Oh, just taco. Because you, know, you don't know, you don't know exactly what's up. Like, 
you don't like at first. Yeah. And then I started realizing like, oh, like at first I was scared to go to my heels because I thought I was gonna roll out. And then I was like, oh, like, but if I go to my toes, like I could like chest it. So I had to like figure out what's what's good. What's worse? Yeah, at exactly. That point. Like, yeah. what do you rather? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I started realizing I was like, oh, if I go heels on front side, 50 50s, because that's what I was learning originally. I didn't learn how to back 50 for a while. So when I first learned how to front 50 on rails, I was just like, oh, if I learn on my heels, it rolls over that way. I could just fall off that way, and there's less things. There's not a rail in front of me, you know, like I would on my toes. So it took a while and a lot of trial and error, a lot of ribs so yeah. you would have second thoughts on skating a square rail than a round rail oh for I, always oh, always always have second thoughts on skating a square rail it has to be like certain tricks like uh, for uh, me I, uh, i'm always getting a square rail if i'm like it's like a back when you nose grind rail or like a uh, nose slide uh, tail slide yeah maybe what a blunt slide it? rail yeah depending on the squareness of the rail gotcha. crook rail obviously anything crook wise is good uh, but yeah no yeah. definitely the rails depend but then also like i would say like Anything I can do on a circle rail, anything I can do on a square rail, I can do on a circle rail, but not anything I can do on a circle rail, I can do on a square rail. Sure. That's kind of like yeah. how it, and that's also why I don't like square rails. Like I way rather prefer circle rails. It's so All the handrail skaters say that, I feel like. They do. Yeah, I just way do. prefer, like way prefer it. The square yeah. rails are, are like kryptonite to like, yeah, yeah. and skaters. the guys that don't skate rails, yeah. like myself, we're like square. Oh, yeah, yeah, square. Right. Right. Oh, yeah, 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 let's go. It's a skinny hubba. Totally. Man, that's so funny, man, that you're... Uh, I like how he breaks it down. I know, you break it down. You have a very interesting... I mean, you really analyze everything. I mean, you, yeah. you did a board setup in there, and you analyze, like, you really know about your board, yeah. dimensions, wheelbase. I mean, you know everything. I love that. I try I try to learn. I mean, I try to... My mom's a teacher. Mm -hmm. I mean, I do love learning things. I mean, my, mom, my, my dad also, like I said, going back to my dad, he's an engineer. I mean, he loved mm. teaching me things since I was a little kid. Like, I was like, oh, I want to buy this. I want to buy a rail, like a flat bar. He'd be like, no, we can just go buy. We can go build one. Like, you know, we go to Home Depot. It's a project, yeah. Yeah, it's a father-son project. It's cheaper. And also, I learned how to, like, carpentry or, like, whatever, you know, learn how to yeah. wood woodwork and yeah. do whatever. Mm -hmm. So, like, yeah, I've, like, always learned how to try to be hands-on and, like, do what I can to, like, you know, like, understand things. Sure. Because it's yeah. like, what's the point of doing something if you're not understanding it? What's the craziest I, thing you ever sure. built with your dad? Craziest thing I've ever built with my dad? Mm, I mean, we did build like just like a bunch of ramps and stuff. That was kind of normal. Family projects, we built stilts, which is like kind of, <laughs> which is cool. We built stilts before, which is sick. Did Me and my sisters. With yeah, them? with stilts. Like, <laughs> just wood, anything did you make woodwork. My dad loved wood. Uh, what was that? Did you make pants for the stilts? Uh, no. <laughs> Didn't no, go full circle? No, no, no full circle. <laughs> Get a big hat on. Just trying to go, like, he would, like, we built, like, a, he found, like, a junk, like, I wanted to buy a basketball hoop for the house. He's like, no, nah. like, we just went to a junkyard, found a hoop, mm. and, like, he went and got, bought pipes, and then, like, installed it in the house, like, on the side, in, on top of the garage, you know? So it's like, nice. damn. It's kind of like a very do-it-yourself guy. I like yeah. that. And, like, I mean, it's a big thing for me is I love, like, trying to learn stuff, like, especially if, like, I mean, one thing that was awesome about my dad, anything broke, and my, my dad could fix anything. Mm -hmm. Like, he's just like, anything breaks, I can call my dad, he's, he's gonna fix it. He's older, uh, my dad's like 79, so he came from like, obviously, back in the day, there was no, like, even like, way back in the day, in his day, it was <laughs> definitely no internet. Right. Like, you learn from a person, like, my, my grandpa, my dad's uh, Puerto Rican and Cuban, and like, grew up in Puerto Rico and Cuba, and when he was in Cuba, like, his grandpa, my grandpa, his dad, uh, like had a TV shop and then in at the TV shop there's also auto repair shop and like he would always after school go there and hang out there all day learn how to fix TVs learn how to fix cars and that was just like the fun thing to do for him so he always loved learning anything like nowadays like if you try to if you show him something he can't fix he would like be so mad he'll be bummed he'll be, and he'll like he'll read up, it out he'll read up on it yeah. and know how to no, fix it the next day yeah. like it's like you're not gonna get anything past him yeah. like, so yeah. you kind of have it like ingrained you kind of have yeah. the gene yeah of like, it's just you know, like analyzing stuff and knowing what breaking you're, it down it's just breaking what it i was down. what i was grown grown up around and right. my mom's also the same way like she and like they're both from the military so they're both mm -hmm. very hands-on like my dad was in the air force my mom she was in the uh, marines and she's just like you know super like she's gonna do it the best if she's gonna do something she's gonna do it to the best of her ability yep. and that's something that she always like installed with us like if we're gonna do something give it all give it your all uh and like you know but have fun while you're doing it to, yeah. like make sure like you don't get caught like up in some being bummed or whatever you know you always gotta have fun because sure. like yeah. with all seriousness you gotta have fun to compensate that seriousness if you're just all seriousness there's like you know it's like 
There's no fun around here. Yeah, man. Yeah. It's a whole... Th- yeah, you gotta yeah. have fun. Yeah, that's the thing. My parents were always super serious about things, but my mom and dad, they always knew how to have fun. So it's hey, like... That's the best. Yeah, it's a big thing for me, I feel like. So yeah. you... Uh, yeah, but I love how you... You're very... You're analytical. You really mm-hmm. look at very stuff. Very analytical. And especially when it comes to skating a spot or something. Totally. Yeah, yeah. Rails, all that. I love that about... Bondo and cracks. I, I just think it's Bondo. so <laughs> interesting because skaters are so different in so mm-hmm. many different ways. Yes. Some, they don't even give a, a rat ass yeah, yeah, about for sure. anything that they're skating. Spectrums. They don't know... No, they don't. They don't want to create more work for themselves. All they know is that they skate fifty-two millimeter wheels, probably, and that, you know what I mean, like an eight eight point two five. Sorry, about, doing. We're sorry about this. Sorry about this. You're good. You're good. You're good. Um, but I like. I, I just like because I was never that way. Yeah. I was never into you know going above and beyond what I knew about yeah. like the size board, size wheels, the shape, you know, the shape and everything. I never got into wheelbase. Yeah, yeah. I never got into anything. That's all new for me too, because like like I said. In the video of me doing my setup, I grew up skating all types of things. Had no idea what this stuff was. <laughs> I didn't know. I've skated Ventures, Thunders, Indies, like all all random trucks, all random wheels, mm-hmm. bearings. I think my bearings were like Frankenstein. You know, as a kid, you don't know. <laughs> you got to try fine. it all out Yeah, you got to try it all out. Like. You got to know what you like. Mm-hmm. And everything is different in its own way. And, yeah. you know, it works different for different people. And But now it's like, okay, especially with the whole sense of like learning things and trying to be consistent. It's like, it's better for me to understand and know why something's happening or also be able to control something that's happening. Mm -hmm. It's like, okay, like this is why this is happening. I could change it or I could leave it and cater to it, like fix it in in my own way, you know? So it's just like the more consistency you have, the better you can get at your craft in my mind. You know, it's like same shoe. Like, I mean, I skate my shoes all the time. It's not just because uh, I don't like other people's shoes, but I do love my shoes. Like, <laughs> they feel really good. They flick yeah. really good. It's just like, a, like They're I said, a consistency free. thing. Yeah. Sometimes I do put on random other shoes and uh, like it, you get a different feeling. But like for me, like if I'm doing something that I'm scared or something I'm nervous or something, I want to feel comfortable. I want to totally. feel in my own realm and in the sense of like I can control my, my own, my clothes, my shoes my socks even sometimes yeah. i don't want slippery mm-hmm. socks you know oh, it's that's just the like, worst yeah, yeah you're yeah, like oh yeah, no nah. like put it bring out a pair of socks like nah i can't skate in these today no we way you know how those feel you're like nah, yeah, 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 like, nah. Yeah. with sweat no way <laughs> exactly it's all <laughs> random things you know yeah. these random things that you like take up over the time and there's this work for you and yeah. everyone's got their own uh their own craziness to the cycle for yeah. sure yeah. madness yeah. especially yeah. skating like all skaters are insane. Like, I, we're all crazy in our own way. Dude, yes. The only, we're like addicted to this thing. It's you have to insane. be, I always say this, like you have to be so nuts to be that good at skateboarding. You do. Like you have to be you do. out of your, like yeah. you have to The really craziest people yeah. in this world, that, like the craziest skateboarders are some of the best skaters in the world. Like, yeah. And it only plays into their skating. You yeah. know, it's like, it wouldn't, they, without that, without them being that way, they wouldn't be that skateboarder. They wouldn't act that way and they wouldn't have their own like flavor do it and everything. Mm-hmm. So it's super cool because it's like, that's what makes us all individuals in skating. It's like everyone, you could see their own skating through this, through filming or hanging out with them and learning their own weird quirks. And like, like I love hanging out with Ashad because he's super in, he's super in tune with everything, but also like you can see him skate a trash board and do some amazing stuff. Totally. Dude. Like sometimes I look at his board and I'm not a big stickler when it comes to my setup looking good and being new and anything, <laughs> but like if something's bad or looks bad or feels bad, I'm going to change it. Some people, like I've seen a shot, like he just like, you'll just skate it and kill it. Like, like same we were talking about like Vin, like Vincent yeah, Alvarez. Yeah, like sure. whenever we go on Dick, uh, Dickie's trips, like sometimes his wheels are like, like, like Square. bearing casings. Yeah. You're like, yeah. whoa, dude. He's like, yeah, I got new wheels, but like. These are good. You're like, whoa, dude! Like, it's crazy. Good. Like, yeah. nah, he loves He's them still though. It's insane. insane. Yeah, he I loves think he them. Like, dude. I think he likes it. Like, when it's a challenge. Yeah, exactly. You know? I think it's, it's just also what you're used to. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's like I feel like like we were saying before. Like we were talking about that Vincent Alvarez thing. Like, if you gave Vin a brand new complete and new shoes, I feel like it would like I wouldn't even look. I'd look at him and wouldn't even know who he was. <laughs> <Yeah>. That's true. <laughs> you know yeah, what I'm saying? It's like I've never seen never seen him with a brand new complete. I can tell you'd be going fast as fuck though with brand new wheels. Oh my god! You wouldn't have to like push as hard. Yeah, no doubt. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, that's the thing. That's what gives him his style, his flavor. Seeing him just fucking mashing, like yeah, the best. No, it's cool. It's like it's so sick being around, especially like me growing up looking up to these dudes and like being able to hang out with them now and like talk to them and like talk skating in the sense of like ran our random little quirks like that whole thing like like with the twin tail like my board's a twin tail now and that's because of a shot yep. and it's just like he's just like oh yeah and then he skates i was like, asking him i was like oh you skate a twin tail like so both your trucks are different or the same and he's like oh i skate them the same i don't even care 
I like That's take them wild. off. Like growing up, I'd always have like I would, like as a kid, I'd write like like F on the my front truck yeah. and B yeah, on my back same. truck. You know? I still do yeah, that. Yeah. And yeah. now like I was talking <laughs> to a shot about it. I was like, so what do you do? And that was like before I skated a twin tail. And he's like, I don't care. I just like take my board off, put them down, whatever truck pick up, put it back on. <laughs> I'm just like, <laughs> he's a Whoa. bad bro. And it's like, if someone that was like not like I mean not that like. A shot of me is like one of the best skaters out there. Like, you know, it's yeah. like it's like, and especially of our my generation, it's like of, especially I looked up to him growing up too. Like he's like one of the best out there, and he's still like so happy to go. Like, he's not like super critical in tune, but he knows what he likes, yep. and like he has his own method of madness, and it's just cool. So like when I fi- figured that out, I was like, oh, like I thought a lot of people skate. Oh, almost everyone skated like a tighter or looser front or back truck and all this different stuff, and I was like, oh no, like you could just do your own thing and like. I kind of learned, like, I was like, oh, so you just skate twin tails? Like, yeah, like, the board gets soggy, you switch it around. Yep. Like, all the, I was like, oh, that makes a lot of sense. And, like, he does amazing lines, you know? Like, his lines are amazing, and that's because of his twin tail. He like, doesn't need to turn around. He doesn't need to turn around. Yeah. He, could do a, he could, like, do a backside big spin, yep. push, switch, switch tray. Yep. Like, you know, he doesn't have to worry about which where his board's at or what it's looking like. It's, it's awesome, you know? Yep. And that's what's cool. Like, I wanted that because I was like, oh, like, I hate, like, running and throwing down and I look down and my board's like backwards Yeah, and I was yeah. so hyped to try that try and I'm all pissed <laughs> oh, like yeah. oh I'm so ready but my board was backwards you know <laughs> right, 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 so right. like you know it's like now it's so cool to be totally. able to not care in the sense of like yeah I care about my board and setup and everything but I don't have to really care it's, it feels good I like it and it works however I throw down wherever I go like it feels but good what about you have Shake John all big on there that's the only thing I had yeah, to get I used to okay. yeah. yeah I had to get used to that like mm. usually if I throw down the exclamation since I'm regular the S is in the front for me I have to throw down sometimes the exclamation points in the back or in the front now but I had to get used to it now I don't care okay. yeah, now that, I literally, could, that could be the only thing that now you off. it's cool because I, I now I like before I'd be like oh like my trucks like now I could literally just think about me in the spot the trick yeah. yeah and just the trick like i could just be like all right my board is the same here to there but what about one try let's say you get into a trick and you grind down and it perfectly. feels great that feels- that try i might keep it that way yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. If it, say I've, that's happened to me too like say if i'm always skating it the same way sometimes like i'll just like sometimes i throw it down the same way all the time stickers and stuff like that and then like say my tail's getting a little soggy which i have two tails but the one i'm using primarily is getting soggy I'll f- just turn it around and I have a perfectly firm new tail right. yeah. and it's actually gotten me a good flick. Or if I'm doing like a kickflip into a trick and the tail's too firm and I could go to, that, to the other tail that I was using prior and it's a little more mushy, mellow, good flick. Like, yeah, it's just like, I don't like stiff boards too. Brand oh. new boards is not a thing. For, like, I don't like them. Like really? I just I don't want a brand new board. Like how, 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 obviously I love having a brand new board, being able to set up a new board. But I like a board to have a little mush to how it. How long? How long do you skate a board till you really like it? Uh, third day is like third the best day, day okay. probably. Okay. Like not any day after that's good too. But like it's like you know if I'm skating like some gnarly spot like or something like obviously I'm just going to skate ledges like a brand new board is dope mm. and it's like breaks in really good that way. But if I'm like jumping down something or skating a big rail and I got a brand new board, it's like. Uh, it's like almost too like the board can almost have a mind of its own because it's too stiff too like uh, like i want it to have like it won't, i want it to listen to me it's almost like it's like getting a puppy and it doesn't <laughs> listen to you or something you know you gotta train, you gotta train it. it yeah exactly oh, After three days oh it's training. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's pretty good so it's yeah. like you know it's like it it still works and everything it's like a little mental thing for me that's one of my only mental things it's like a new board like i pop fakey a lot at rails and stuff like that yeah. so if i have a brand new board and I'm used to popping fakey, like with my little bit mushy board. That is a split second that it takes longer for the stiff board to hit the bo- hit the ground because it didn't bend and pop the yeah. same, you know. Yeah. So it's like I gotta compensate for that, pop way earlier. Are you planning out certain tricks around, like, oh, I gotta set up a new board. Uh, maybe we'll go to that spot three, four days from now. Sometimes I don't, wanna, I don't wanna really go skate that thing tomorrow. Sometimes, or I'll just like kind of set up a board and just go skate. Uh, a park before that's okay. kind of like main thing it's like if it's like a, before the weekend i'll go skate baker boys and break it in or something or leave, say flat ground do you leave your board in your in the trunk a lot of times i do yeah yeah because that'll I help obviously bring out the soggy yeah, yeah. yeah. i don't, I don't, those hot sure. I don't mind shit. bringing my board in and like i mean honestly i think right now i got like i'm thinking about it yeah i got like six boards in my trunk like yeah. new Oh, you just, just leave the all the boards? The boards the yeah, I don't even think about it as if like, oh, they're getting soggy that way. But like, it might it's help. Helping you? It might yeah. help. I don't know. I just like also have it just because if I'm out, I don't want to have to worry about yeah. always bringing a board no out. Doubt. You know, so I'm just like, oh, I made my car. I have extra boards. 
So yeah. nice. we were talking about Baker Boys, and oh my god, bro! Can we just talk about this? Heel flip. Heel. Dude, I Ooh. mean, bro. What were you eating for breakfast to this morning? Oh my God. Probably a bacon, egg, and cheese Ooh. on everything bagel. <laughs> bro. No, was, you, your heel flips, like, there. did you do that a lot when you were younger? Or that's no. something you just developed recently? Yeah, it was like, I mean, I've always been able to, like, heel flip. Uh, it's funny because, like, I don't know about you guys, but, like, I always, like, had a couple homies that, like, you know, it was like those dudes that, like, they weren't. They couldn't kick flip, but they could heel flip. Yeah, sure. Yeah. You know, it's kind of growing up. There was always like you're either a kick flipper or a heel flipper. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. And like I had homies like that, and I could always do like I wasn't that great at either one. You know, I was like, oh, I could just do both. Yeah. And then like now, like obviously, like kind of like watching Neen do heel flips. Like I kind of just grew more into liking heel flips because like people doing them not as much, especially in competition. Mm-hmm. Like I was thinking, like, oh, if I can get a good heel flip in my run, like it would be different, you know, oh, rather right. than like yep. just everyone's kick flipping or tray flipping and stuff like that. Yeah. So it's just like something cool that'd be different. And like, I can't front side flip, but I could like almost front heel. So it was like, you know, something I was like, oh, okay, heel flips are working. Like maybe I could learn front heels really good or something, you know, because mm-hmm. I think it's a really cool trick as well. Hell yeah. Front but like awesome. watching Neen do heel flips, I thought it was super cool. It's the best. Learning like, and that's the thing, it's like, the way Neen heel flips is it's like, like no other. It's that insane. Fucking... Not just the way it looks, but if you were to just watch his feet and try to do a heel flip in the way that he does a heel flip, yeah. you won't be able to do it. Yeah. yeah, Like he can't teach you how to heel flip in the sense of like his foot placement because his board is one of the flattest boards out there. Like mm-hmm. he skates a super flat mold. He's when he does a heel flip, his toe looks like a kick flip. Oh, like, really? Yeah, it's different. You know, it's a it's a way different setup. You know, okay, okay. and it's like. It works for him though because of what he skates, the really flat board. Mm-hmm. It's like if I skate, my board's a little more steep than his. If I were to do what he does, like it wouldn't work. Sure. And then if he does what he does on my board, it might not work as good, you know? So it's like I kind of like just watched him a lot, a lot learn like, and learn through watching. In gotcha. a sense. Like I was like, oh, you like can just do the heel flip, but then kick your feet ahead of you, uh-huh. and yes. the board can meet up with you if you learn it the right. If you learn it that way, I mean, you definitely Same. learned it that way. And in that, in this yeah, clip. it's all because you, of you me for sure. The trick right here, bro. On the, like, on the quarter pipe, this is something I'm super hyped on because I mean, it always feels good to do it on a quarter pipe. Totally. Like you nah, didn't even like try to that. like do you like almost like let it just happen. Yeah, you know it was kind mean? of it was a random thing. I was just doing a heel flip fakey, and then uh, I just kind of <laughs> threw a front heel, yeah. and it like wrapped like to like wow. oh, i was like it? oh yeah. it like kind of worked um, yeah. and then it kind of just like you know random days hey you fucked those quarter pipes up though See, those baker are boys. i was just talking about that the other day yeah, when i was man. at baker boys those are like the best quarter pipes ever they look really mellow really fun so good like yeah. dude that that uh on the other side the pool coping quarter pipe is yep. like one of the funnest things on this planet to me yeah, it's yeah. so fun dude you were doing some other tricks on those. super slippery super which is slick, like okay. annoying in the sense of like they're indoors, you know. It's like indoor skate, like it's really slippery. Yeah. But it's like nice because it's like when you fall, it doesn't hurt. Yeah. It's, it's like, like dusty in there, kind of. Slide a little it's just bit. like yeah. I mean, it's obviously dusty. We be waxing stuff up. A lot of people skating. Doors yeah. open. It's Get a warehouse. It. Whenever you, I mean, dude, it's a warehouse. No matter what, what warehouse you're at. Yeah. It's gonna be. Get them off the floor. It's dirty, man. It's yeah. a warehouse. But yeah. dude, congrats on this heel <laughs> flip. I'm a heel it, flipper, oh, so I'm you. when I see shit like this. Nah, I'm stoked. That's. I love how it comes like straight to your back foot. I'm so hyped. Yeah, it's something that like it felt. Like I could feel it hit my back. And that's a new, a new thing that I do when I do heel flips. I can feel it hit my back foot and yeah, it like, got it. that's kind of how I know it's like, mm-hmm. okay, this one's going. I mean, you floated that mm-hmm. thing. I appreciate you know, it. I, I wish I could slow-mo it because like you literally like your back foot is waiting mm-hmm. up there for mm-hmm. the board to come up yeah, and yeah, smack yeah. it. You hey, know? J- JC, Lofty. did Neen comment in on this at all? I uh, probably did. I think he usually comments on most of them. I mean, it's funny because a lot of people tag him. Like, oh, oh he's coming yeah. for you. And yeah. it's like, yeah. so the thing is, like, I can never come for him. Like, dude, shut nah. up, Neen. Neen oh, is yeah. the best Neen's dude literally the best ever. dude ever. The best he's, like, bro. the original. Like, it's, like, there's no coming for Neen. I'm just trying my best to keep up, you know? Nah. Dude, have you seen that one kid from Japan, that. that Kiari kid? Yeah. His heel, heel flip front crook, heel flip back lip, heel flip back smith. It is. That kid, right? Yeah. He does them all. Yeah, yeah, But yeah. it's funny, yeah, because, yeah, he just basically just does heel flips. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, yeah. It's cool, too, because I I know. I've never seen him really. He, he did. Sure he can. But. I think he did in that run. Didn't he win Tampa Am? He did the uh, year before. Yeah. Oh, he, he ended with a front crook nollie back heel oh, or something. Yeah. Yeah, something yeah, yeah. But I think he had one kickflip back lip in that. He can't kickflip. It is. That's the thing. It's like, it's funny because it's weird. Like I feel like a lot of people. It's like, oh, you could kickflip all day. Like kickflip back lip, kickflip front fifty. It's like no one's gonna give it. Rat's ass if you kickflip into everything. Yeah. But then if you're like only heel flipping into stuff, people kind of like. 
Like, oh, you're just a heel flipper. Yeah, they yeah. like, like weaker. Yeah, weaker fell into that. Yeah, yeah. and it's yeah. like it's sure. like and like yeah, or like how like Manny does a lot of heel flip five zero, heel, very heel five zeros. It's mm-hmm. like man, that shit's hard. No one else does that yeah. for, for a reason. reason. Yeah. yeah, it's so hard. Yeah. Like, and that's the thing. It's like, and then people put it off. Like, oh, it's just he does the heel flips. It's like it doesn't matter. Like, yeah, yeah. No, you do the basic easy. Yeah, kickflip. it's like I mean, it's like just as hard that's as a, if if he can't kick flip backsmith, like <sighs> he can heel flip backsmith, and like that's that's just as hard as exactly. you only being able to kick flip backsmith. It's the same thing, you know. Is this a video of all Neen's heel flips? Yeah. Dude, heel flip compile yes. it. Come on now. Yeah. Ooh, see, that's look at that fucking leg. Look yeah, see, wait, 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 those wait, are the things I try to like. Look at that knee on him in the face. Dude, look at the that's back leg too. The yeah. back leg. That's what I focus on is yeah. when I learned, I watched him, I was like, Bruh. you just do a heel flip and kick your feet in front of you and your back leg up as high as possible and it could meet up with you just like that. Yeah. Look at that. Dude. Fuck. He's like judo he, him I up can't like, do that. Like anyone tries to say, I don't think say, anybody could do that's that. That's what I'm saying. Anyone yeah, says like, watch, like watch out, knee. No, like it does yeah. not matter. Oh, like, knees not tripping at all. I know knees. Knees like, nah, you're good. I don't need. Knees yeah, a boy, but yeah. those kids are just crazy. I'm just saying, <laughs> some kids are crazy. Man. I don't see knee doing on a court pipe. Hey, you got a little Ooh. different. Hey, I can't and do a front crook too. So. Knee is just stoked. Knee, knee, he'll flip front crook. That, he'll flip back Smith. He'll flip anything. Dude. That heel flip over the rail that's like front, front side, side is crazy. It's, mm-hmm. Like his foot just barely misses it, that yeah. shit. It I does, was like, dude, what? Wait, is that that rail that uh, TJ Rogers? TJ back switch back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, switch back lip. Yep. And yeah, front side kicking the rail, dude. Yeah. So that's the thing. I can like heel flip back or heel flip back lip and like. Heel flip front board a little bit, but heel flip front boards are scary because I always think I'm gonna kick the rail. Like mm-hmm. I rather heel flip back lip because it's like a heel flip over yeah. and just see if you're there, you know. Yeah. But like, yeah, like going front side, it's like how do you not worry about your foot just smacking the Kicking rail? Dude, I've this... done that. Learning how to heel flip front board, a kick straight like he, the ankle part right here, just right on the oh. rail hurts so bad. This yeah. one is insane, dude. Yeah, insane. With the like with the, the dreads gap. all up too. I love how the dreads are pun- like pinned up, man. Oh, I always oh my tr- god. When he skates gaps or like off stairs he flips his tricks so slow no, they're all slow but yeah. still catches them but like, like i i have so a, sick i have a like slow front shoves yeah yep. like, he has the same one but just can float him down huge yeah. shit. that's like scary yeah no he's really good at like varial heels he it's great he can really control I've, I've heard him talk about it like he can control the flick and motion of his board like the speed of it yeah i've heard him say oh i need a very heel faster and he's done it faster or oh i need to do it slower and he's done it slower oh. and i think that's crazy like i yeah. think that's kind of crazy too it's really hard i don't like, think I can really have control it's hard to gauge over that how stuff. fast my board's flipping. Exactly, it's very hard to gauge that stuff. Totally. So it's like he he knows. What I gotta? I want to see Neen do parkour. Huh? I want to see Neen do parkour. I mean, he's Dan. He's doing it on a skateboard, <laughs> yeah, man, with go. the heel flip side. But I just, just don't think I could like you know kick harder or faster or make it flip yeah, you know it's, it's like it's dub- you want it to be consistent perfect example doing double. double flips yeah. right i can never do double flips because mm-hmm. i can't get my kick flips to like flick faster yeah mm-hmm. you're just like it's weird it's you're too used, used to the normal motion. i'm used to the normal motion yeah, yeah. I, everybody else double flips i'm like i i cannot get my board to flip twice yeah, yeah. it was like, do it when you do that like mm-hmm. it's more of like just leaving your body up in the air more Mm-hmm. Like I thought, I learned it. You, you flick and you just let it. Yeah, yeah. yeah hold your feet up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, All right, bring it down now. But yeah, it's God, a it's a weird shout trip. out, Neen. Look nah, at this big guy. shout out to Neen. Straight up. living his li- living his best life out there. Uh, in, uh, Texas. Yeah, dude, yeah. it's so sick. His setup in Texas is amazing. So sick. He just had a kid not that long ago. Yeah. So mm-hmm. nah, it's That's super awesome. super stoked for did, Neen. Did you go out he's, there? He's thriving. Did you go out there when they uh, did a Death Wish trip out there? Yeah, we did a Death Wish trip out there, and then uh, yeah, I went after that. Uh, me and my girlfriend went to his wedding. Rad. and everything so yeah, oh, yeah. Just, i mean i love going to texas it's so fun like being able to just hang out like and especially it was cool going like for neen's wedding it was like so different rather than like oh field like spots everywhere like oh, it was yeah. just like damn go to these barbecue spots hang out with neen and his family like it was, yeah. so, it was super cool to be relaxed and like see him because his uh his wife is from that area so it's mm-hmm. cool like meeting her family and everything it was just like he's so like he's got such a sick spot he's super hyped on where he's at he's like he's got the ice barrel yeah, like up. Where he does all the, and then he just built like a sauna the other day. I saw on his story, <laughs> like <laughs> hey, it's a sick. sauna, and then like, dude, it's it's just so sick. Like yeah. he's just killing it. He, and like, his cooking is yeah. Incredible. I mean, like, obviously his cooking is top notch. Like yeah. he's always showing people how to cook on his grant. Like oh, now, everything looks so good. His dude. lifestyle, yeah. real talk, from he's like the eating aspect to yeah, like, yeah. like taking care of himself. It's and it's like, crazy because it was amazing. a full switch from where he used to be. Yeah. I mean, I, I never knew him back in the day, but from what I've heard, like full it's just switch. a full switch from what it used mm-hmm. to be. Yeah. And it's amazing. It's like that really shows you what like how powerful the mind is. And okay. I mean, it's just like I mean, as skaters, we are kind of like we have all have the uh, like uh, 
addiction mm -hmm. side of our life because mm -hmm. we're skaters you know like what what else are we gonna get like we get hit with a board in the shin a million times we're still gonna keep trying this anyone else that's normal is just gonna be like <laughs> screw this i'm exactly. done like you know like anything that throws you down a million times you just get back up and keep trying it. it's like you were addicted to it but it's such a that's a powerful and like a good strong addiction that it could go to such great places and then like with him being able to like f get, go from like where he was to now like just like food, fitness, like yeah. life, like showing the people, where showing people to wear it as me. Sure. Yeah, same where I've always been, really? man. No yeah. greens, no greens, no greens. No. Is there Damn. anything new? Anything this different? T-shirt. <laughs> no, 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 no salads, no, no salads. No, no salads. No. What nothing. about like a banana or something like? I that? I love bananas. That's a fruit. That's not green. I know, but I'm saying you wouldn't. I mean, it's green at one point. No, I love bananas. I've always loved fruit, natural sugars. Come on. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I love fruit. I love like. It's just like a lot of the, the green stuff to me is a bitter most of the time. And I mean, I don't know. Kind of talked to my mom. She, Kale's bitter. Kale's I just bitter, don't yeah. like bitter but stuff. Like, and I mean, like, but it can be prepared butter, well. butter lettuce, chill. Ooh, butter lettuce. You got a chill. bunch of butter on it. Is it healthy? <laughs> Butter, it's, butter lettuce is good. Or is, is it butter? Yeah. Is butter lettuce not, is a separate like, type of not, lettuce? There's, there's no separate separate lettuce. Oh, it's not okay, butter. Okay, you, okay, you, okay, you, okay, you would okay, actually, okay. you would actually <laughs> like it. That's what I'm saying. Like, what? You sound pretty good. That's what I'm saying. It's like I've talked to a lot of people. They're like, you got to cook them all. You know, it's like I'm pretty sure a lot of greens when you cook them, you lose a lot of like stuff out of it. Right. But I mean, you lose some stuff. But yeah, I mean, it's just like I don't know, just not not my thing. Try butter lettuce. I love it. You can start with butter lettuce. Yeah. I like arugula. I like arugula. Oh, okay. Okay. That's good. Hey. Yeah, but it's that's, like it's like a spice. Yeah. But butter lettuce yeah. is like the pepper. weirdest thing to try to start off. Start yeah, off with the lettuce. Butter lettuce. Rome, <laughs> romaine, bro. Yeah. yeah. I mean, iceberg. Okay. Like, <laughs> romaine. <laughs> well, start off those, with a little iceberg. Yo, hey, when they give you the you order a salad and they give you a huge iceberg dude, of one solid worst, dude. I'm like, what the fuck? The worst. You gotta cut it yourself. Here's a solid block of water for you, sir. Solid block of, Here's a solid block of green yeah. water. Yeah. Cut it up. So it puts put and everyone drenches it in like blue in cheese. ranch and blue cheese. Yeah. It's like, is it really healthy for you at that point? I'm not sure. I love how he'll try to just turn it around though and like make it. Nah, it I don't know if it's healthy about. for you. Yeah. Yeah. Like, <laughs> the people that are fiber. eating their raw greens, power to you. Mm. You guys are like that's yeah that's that's real deal for you. Like that's the real deal. Did we talk about like what was the worst vegetable to you last time? Uh, probably yeah I don't know if anywhere between like artichoke it's got the word choke in the name <laughs> artichoke is kind of nasty I don't, like I don't hate it. dude you it, dip it in butter again nah, with the like, butter. artichoke like, dip was yes. good artichoke dip was good yeah. and butter and salt put it on everything uh, yeah. come on like. okay. this is a not we're never gonna this is a losing battle we're you're, never you're gonna, gonna lose against him right we're now, never gonna bro. change his mind oh man <laughs> So they gotta change my mind. I know. I know. Right, my, start off with some butter lettuce. So I know let us my know diet. How it goes. Yeah, I know my diet isn't the best, but hey, it's what's got me it's here today. It. But working. avocado is it's completely working. off the list. Like, there's no way. Avocado? I don't know. I'm not an avocado guy. How about cucumbers? I was late bloomer to avocado. No but avocado. No pickles. No what about pickles. cheeseburger? Yeah. Pickles and burgers. <laughs> I love cheeseburgers. Okay. At least we're but no, no lettuce, no tomato, no, no pickles. No. What about heirloom tomatoes? Okay. Well, you said like a candy. cheeseburger, right? Cheeseburger. Yeah, yeah. you like trying to trick no, them yeah. Only <laughs> With no Just lettuce, cheese, tomato, yeah. ketchup. Cheese or and onions? I like onions. Oh, you like onions? Oh, you I like onions. Okay. Okay. Even raw onions. I love raw, onions diced onions raw onions. onions. Yep. Good yep. for you. Not a big fan of grilled onions because that's when they get all... I'm, see, that's the thing with me too is a lot of things are texture. Um, like I like crunch. Mm. When it's like grilled, long grilled onions, I like the flavor. But when it comes to like a whole grilled onion like being all like soggy yeah like a slug yeah. kind of like i'm not a big fan of that okay, so it kind of you. feels crazy to me when i'm eating it but like yeah i love raw like like raw uh, onions like all types of onions okay. i like i like and that stuff's like more like a seed like green onions green onions i'm down it's not about the color it's not about the color <laughs> I don't well, judge on color. <laughs> Majority. <laughs> uh, what about Everyone mustard? says it's greens. It's just vegetables. Yeah, I don't mustard, like vegetables. ketchup, all that stuff. Nah, I mean, I, I like I like all that stuff. I'm not a big mustard guy. Regular mustard. I like certain like Dijon, Dijon type yeah. style. I like knew you were, I knew you were Dijon, Dijon. <laughs> with like with yeah, like certain fancy. things fancy. like like with like a like a pretzel or something. Like yeah, it's just like you know, it's just like it depends on what you're getting. But for it. the most part, pretty plain. Like. Majority, I just want ketchup on a burger with some onions. Like, do yeah. You, do you cook at home? Yeah, I do like to cook. Uh, you just like meats and stuff yeah, like that? meats and stuff. I mean, I'm a big breakfast dude. I, okay. I mainly cook breakfast. Okay. A lot of time, it's obviously just easier for me because like I can eat the same thing for breakfast almost every day. What is it? Like a like bacon, eggs. Like I usually make a bacon, egg, and cheese on an everything bagel. Ooh, that sounds good. But like I love that. And no, then, no condiments on there. No. Uh, only hot sauce like Cholula. Okay. 
Okay. Some okay. Cholula. Okay. Gotcha. You know? okay. Gotcha. But uh, other than that, like, I, like you know, you take that, you can make anything with those three things. You know, you could make a bacon, egg, and cheese on a bagel, or you could just make ba- like scrambled eggs, burrito. bacon, yeah, and get a burrito, mm-hmm. wrap yep. it up. Yep. Or you can just do like a half open bread thing. And like, you know, there's all different things you or can do. Plain. Yeah, exactly. Just yeah. plain. I just had but then bacon and eggs this morning. It's hard for me to go so shopping for like dinner all the time because I don't know what I'm going to eat all the time. You know, it's kind of hard. Like someday yeah. you're like, oh, I want this, that, or this and that. It's all random. Yeah. Right. You know, so right. it's kind of harder to plan for me to dinner. So it's hard for me to buy a bunch of dinner stuff. So you eat out a lot? I do eat out like dinners and stuff a lot. Mm-hmm. But I mean, if I'm, it's also because I run around so much. Like mm-hmm. if I'm home enough, that's the thing too. Bacon, like You'll stock eggs, out. bacon, and cheese like some of the like the bacon you run through and the eggs they last a while cheese last last a while so it's like it's different like right rather than if you're getting meats and stuff you don't want that stuff to go to like spoil you're yeah, wasting you money you, you know you can't sit on it yeah i don't want to well, sit you on can it if it's in the freezer oh but then but you gotta freeze it it's not as good defrost it's not as good though it's not as good yeah. i feel like once you freeze <laughs> something it's not Look as good it. i get i get that you unthought it. it's still it you can I think you gotta do a little good. more work you gotta like no, tenderize no, it a little extra no, you, you gotta, gotta let it like, sit for you gotta let course. it sit I'm not like, saying that yeah. take that shit out that's I'm another thing that's another planning there. thing you know, I'm not a big too. planner don't, don't throw steak on the fucking thing when it's frozen no. yeah no we're not saying that you gotta get room temperature yeah room temp I do all that like yeah you gotta let it sit steaks I leave them out like burgers I always like yeah no, no frozen Dude, shit. No, no, frozen. I'm, not in, I'm not into the frozen stuff. Yeah. You can't, you can't, it's just... Let me accept chicken nuggets. It's too much. Oh, frozen chicken nuggets? Pizza, too. Oh, pizza. I do have... I Tombstone? Do, Tombstone go crazy. Yeah. <laughs> DiGiorno. I like DiGiorno. Dude, bring it anything to me. Come on. Stuffed to- crust? Totino's. That's what I grew up on right there. What, what, what kind of pizza are you getting, though? Like, what flavor? Just, like, cheese pepperoni is, like, the main thing. We but, I mean, it? obviously, if I'm going, like, pizza places, I can switch it up a little if, bit. If, if we're, we're coming over to your house and you're making us dinner, what would you make us? Pizza. I mean, I do have a little pizza like fire oven that my girlfriend got me, which would be cool to do. Like, there's always options. We put ranch on the pizza. You can put whatever you want on. No, you. Me, no. No ranch. No No condiments on the pizza. Nah, it's just like, oh, if I'm making my own pizza, like sometimes I'll put like prosciutto on there, or like random things, you know. What about barbecue chicken? Barbecue Barbecue chicken, chicken, buffalo or buffalo chicken. A buffalo chicken pizza sounds bomb. God, I'm getting so hungry. I know, know, right? (laughs) (laughs) Sorry to everybody listening out there. No cinnamon rolls this time. No cinnamon rolls? No, 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 no nah, cinnamon rolls. That's, been, that's just burnt, dude. You said that's just burnt, dude. <laughs> no, Get what's burnt that is that you don't like cinnamon rolls. That <laughs> yeah. was insane to me, dude. What's burnt is you saying that right now, so we're going to go get you some cinnamon rolls. No. Yeah. Yeah. Send them on. Yeah, Raj, run to the store. Go get him I some gotta cinnamon rolls. I got to run to the mall. You got to force them all. <laughs> yeah. Let me ask you a question. Yeah. Let's change the up. Let's go back to skating really quick. Yeah. I love food, but I'm so hungry, bro. Dude. My mouth is already watering. Yeah. yeah. Barbecue chicken pizza. Oh, man. Um, Dude, Sody. Five years ago, 2017, right? Yep, 2017. Dude. Damn, I can't believe it. Do you it's follow along with the, with the Sodi hype at the end of the year? Do you follow along with that stuff? Yeah, I mean, yeah, definitely do. I mean, I feel like it's kind of hard not to, especially like with just being skaters. Like you love you kinda, talking about stuff. You, like, you're always like saying like, oh, asking around, what's this? Like, and who that? do you think's like, gonna be Sodi? Who's this? Who's yeah, that? Like, I mean, who's been killing it this year? Yeah, this and that? you hear a million different things too. For That's sure. the coolest part. Yeah. Do you have any like? picks do you think like who you would think i mean this year yeah uh i mean right now it's kind of just like i mean i'm not sure obviously and that's a cool thing too is like being where i'm at in skating like i hear of like things that are to come sure yeah, yeah. you know it's sure. like so this right now we're in no we're in november it's a big big month mm-hmm. like for that whole thing mm-hmm. and like I'm like kind of like all oh, the the rumors I've heard in the sense of like oh the, he's such and such got two more mm-hmm. such and such got one oh no they got three more yeah. like you know it's like <laughs> yeah. it's crazy you know totally. the things that they that that you hear so it's like just the like, year you won did you were you gunning for it or are you I, just doing your thing I was I was kind of more or less just doing my thing and it's like I feel like the people around me like uh like Ty was always kind of talking about it and especially in that time for me I was just like I just turned pro like I was just mm. like yeah cool. Like I mean, you're Thai, and I I get like where you're coming from. Like you've seen that, but to me, that was almost untainable. He saw the potential. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. He saw the potential. He's been around that, and I guess yeah. he did see the potential. And it was like for me, it was more like I was just stoked to putting out a project with Ty Evans, you yeah, know, right. like that I worked on for two years. And it was kind of also like I just went pro right before that, and uh, I had a part with Deathwish dropping him before that. So it kind of all I would say kind of happened naturally in the yeah, sense of like organic, yeah, it was kind of an organic thing in the sense of like I didn't. I know I didn't was like oh I can get so if I drop these three parts this right. that and the third so yeah, it was you like you have a plan yeah I didn't really have a plan it yeah. was more like oh like this stuff drops this time like oh we'll see what happens I guess and like Ty's mentioned it about 
like the front crook cover he was or the front crook cover he was like oh you do the front crook on el toro like if you get the photo it'd be a cover like yeah. and to even to me i was like i hope i could just front crook el toro that'd be yeah. sick yeah. And like, <laughs> shit the cover like that sounds insane like i would yeah. love that like you know mm. it's just like all things back then like seemed such like a like almost like a pipe dream but it's just things i wasn't used to you know sure like, just things that wasn't like, in my realm because i was still so fresh on the scene in my mind and just how i felt yeah but yeah nowadays i mean it's been getting i feel like the last couple of years have been it's, definitely different it's it's different because you different. can see right away who's going for yeah, it what they're like, coming out with yeah you hear the like you said you hear the rumors of like yeah they got two more parts coming out they yeah. got three more or whatever yeah. like Nye's just going to drop another part exactly. soon for his nike sb shoe it's exactly like, what is that timing exactly it's like he's dropping another part for his nike sb shoe and then i was like i heard maybe he's, yeah there's some other people dropping all like just trying to cram other like trick not tricks in but mm -hmm. just trying to put out stuff yeah. and right like, you know, forcing I mean, it out almost. Yeah. It's like, like forcing it out, but also it's like, it's sick because these skaters are like so good. Yeah, that they like, can do it. It's yeah. just, it happens. You know, yeah. that's the thing. It's like, and that's the thing nowadays. It's like so different from like Sodi now, from Sodi like 20 years ago. It's like being a, a back then, put out two parts in a year and have like a cover. Like, sure. Yeah. That was like unfat. Like you were almost different. like a shoe in, you know? Yeah, it's like sure. nowadays, it's like all so well, spread it, out. Like, it, you know, you could have like three covers, four parts, and like, who knows who's gonna get it you know because it's like yeah. so many people can do that like because there's so many good skaters like nowadays that are just like in the scene i feel like you well, know yeah. it's interesting to see how it's spread out like louis lopez has been killing it all year yeah that's why I, like, I mean louis yeah that's the main thing like back to the original question is like mm -hmm. to me louis and tyshawn are kind of like the two right now that are like not just gunning for it but like they're like killing it like literally no no doubt like just killing it like yeah. Yeah. their skating's insane they're both two different like and the T's, you know? Totally. And it's just, like, still so sick. Like, they both had, like, you know, it's funny because, like, people talk about, like, checking off, like, a box for, like, you know, trying to get your, trying to get Sodi. It's like, oh, you got the cover. Oh, you get the part, like, three parts done. Like, blah, blah. And it's just, like, those dudes have all of it. So yeah. it's, like, yeah. from now, it's, like, you know, it's up in the air. And to know? me, it's not about, like, necessarily the parts. It's about, like, yeah, the yeah. quality. Exactly. And they're the all quantity. really good quality. I could put out six parts. Exactly. And they could suck. Yeah. Doesn't matter that I put out six parts. Exactly. And that's mm. sometimes it kind of gets like that when people do like the four parts, I feel like, or like mm. three, five parts or something. Like it could kind of like, like one of the seem parts drawn on. It's like, oh, like I could tell this part yeah, wasn't doing well, like yeah, one like, of the parts, like leftovers or like exactly. filler and shit. And you're like, oh, I could kind of tell. Part, you know, you could kind of tell know? sometimes. So it's like kind of like you're like, oh, damn. Like, and it's like that stuff's still gnarly too nowadays. It's like throwaway nowadays is still so gnarly. And it's like, <laughs> yeah. oh, wow. And then it's like, you just hear like, oh, well, he actually did this. And you're like, wait, where was that? Oh, it's coming oh, out it's in the next out, one. And it's yeah. like, oh, snap. Like, this is a lot going on, you know? So it's just like so hard, I feel like. It's just like, yeah. And nowadays it's just like so different. I mean, if like, Lou, it's between Louis and Tyshawn in my mind. Tyshawn's had it before. Louis hasn't. I mean, it's just yeah. like, you know, it's just like, you know, who knows what's going to happen. Right. Yeah, but so, sometimes people win it twice. I know. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Yeah. It's been a long time. Yeah. I, long hope time. So. I, I was did. still tripping on the year that Guy didn't win. Remember yeah. that? Yeah. That was like a crazy one. Yeah. Yeah. Next year could be Guy's year. There's been a few years like that. I mean, yeah. even Louis in the last couple of years. Yeah. Like I feel, yeah. And no disrespect to anybody who's won uh, from Louis, but yeah. it's like, yeah. God damn. Exactly. He's like right there. No, I know. This, mm. like, and he it deserves five it. Years, like the past five years, like For always sure. steady killing it. And we're not talking like, about Nigel either. Nigel's in there as well. Nigel right? is yeah. in there. Well, it's I funny. Would, yeah, I would say as well. Yeah. You hear those tricks that he did. I'm like, they weren't even in that last part. The yeah, next yeah, part yeah. must be fucking oh, nuts. Dude, I feel yeah. like that last part was just like throwaway footage. It like, was. It's like, oh, all my that's element boards? That's kind of how I felt. Like, yeah, yeah it was like. It was all yeah. element boards. But listen yeah. to that. It was throwaway footage. I know. That's and he's still like doing like. It's only throwaway footage because he started his own brand. Of course. I get that. Totally. I can see that. Yeah. It's like getting, getting, cleaning house. Yeah. 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 But yeah, no, I mean, this, I mean. And that's what he was just like, eh. It's yeah, like what well, we and it's all out. gnarly shit too. Yeah, yeah it is. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Fucking super. And it's just funny because it all comes out before like the December first. Yeah. So it's like you know coming like the first week of December is kind of like the announcement time. I feel like usually it's like mm -hmm. the first two weeks of December or something like that. So yeah. it's like kind of everyone puts it out like. Yeah. November is like the last month, you know. Someone might be giving something for Thanksgiving or something. They're dropping. Oh, something there's gonna be stuff. Something there's dropping stuff like all, randomly. Dude, this, this past week's been nuts. This week has been. That's yeah. what I yeah. said. Yeah. I was. Crazy. I just went on Thrasher the other day. I was like, I just felt I just watched ten dude, new parts. Clive <laughs> Dixon's yeah. part. Clive Dixon. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. I just felt like I just watched Psycho. ten new videos, and I, I swear I haven't only watched. It's only been like a week yeah. since yeah. I haven't watched. Yeah. You know? But it's crazy though. Nigel has all this footage, and he hasn't been skating almost all year. Yeah. That's what, if you won it in this year, yeah, and yeah. Had, it wasn't even able to skate. That would be pretty wild. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, when did he get hurt? Like, in July or June? I feel like it's like four on. months ago or yeah. Yeah. three. It wasn't, that, so, it wasn't too long. Yeah, ago. yeah I guess. Like I would hate year. to have that decision making. Like, <clears throat> I, mean, I, I would hate to have to. Pick I've always. Yeah, I mean, so anytime sure. you talk about it, it's just like I mean, there's always you could argument cases for anybody. Well, everybody's got their own opinion. Exactly. Skating is so subjective. It is okay. exactly. That's why it's so like everyone's gonna always gonna have something to say. It's gonna be a purple eventually. Yeah, it's just I'm. I mean. It's just crazy, especially nowadays. It's crazy because there's so many good skaters, yep. and it's just like so much content gets out, so much is happening. You can get lost in the sauce. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's really easy to get lost in the sauce. So. It's true. I mean, let's we'll see. And that's the thing. It's like it's hard. Like so much stuff is gonna drop this this month. So yeah. it's like, man, it's like it's gonna all gonna have to like people even like separate things and like think about the, all that and then like maybe get caught up on like forgetting about stuff that was like in the Easy. beginning of the year you Easy. know yeah, mm-hmm. definitely. like i don't know like gotta do a recap yeah like i think maybe like t-funk is dropping apart or something yeah. and then like he had but then you're like oh like he didn't do much but like no nah, he, he had, had a, a whole, whole part in the beginning yeah. of the year Bank, no, the Brooklyn ba- uh, the China 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 Banks Banks and all that stuff that, is like it kind of seemed like because of skateboarding so fast paced nowadays it seems like it was like a long time ago but it wasn't it was this year is mm-hmm. there one part this year that stood, like stood out to you one part this year that stood out to me hmm so hard because like i said there's so much there's stuff so that much. drops it's so hard yeah yeah, I don't that's know. A, that's a crazy question. I don't know. Dude. I don't even think I, I like. We I watch mean, skating all the time. Right, do, you have, do you have a part that you go on YouTube and like watch constantly? Then uh, from they're kind of all older, not from this year. Yeah. I would say from this year. I mean, one of my favorite parts this year is Pedro's part in the homies video. That was mm. good. That's like at the beginning of the year, which yeah. is like it's easy like to think it wasn't this year, you know, but it was. Yeah. And I mean, he's just like, it's just such a like, he's one of those people that like when he puts stuff out, it's just like like passion. And it's just like, you could tell, it's like you get feelings from it. You do. And it's like, it's super cool. It's yeah. like one of those other things. It's like, like he's one of those people for sure to a T puts out the best stuff. Not puts the most the stuff, mm-hmm. yeah. but puts out the best yeah. stuff. Everything yeah. that you get is like top tier, The everything he had. Mm-hmm. And it's just like so sick to watch. Mm-hmm. And it's just like, it's cool because that stuff transpires through the TV to you. Oh, yeah. yeah. Every time I watch a Pedro, like anytime I watch Pedro's part, like in anything, like, Pedro's part in the Death Wish video, like still, like it's like the Uncross video, like that video, like that part is like so heavy, such a motivational like part to me. It's like insane. I'm so glad you said that because for skating for me, I mean, growing up in you know '90s and early 2000s and go, you know, it's like when I watch those videos now, like I get this feeling. Exactly, it's something that you can never get rid of. I can't get rid of it, and Mm. it it fuels me to go skate. Exactly, that's what. There's all these skate parts that come out, you know, all the all year long, but none of them really. Yeah, it's a lot. It's It's hard. It's It's hard to like. It hits different. Definitely. Exactly, because so many people are putting stuffs out so fast. It's like hard. I mean, not that not that it's hard. Yeah, it's a lot of it mushes together. It's kind of a blur. But then also, it's like sometimes maybe they don't get the right song choice. Yeah, like you know, Mm, and nowadays too, you got to pick the song. You got to pay for it. It's like a lot. It's a lot. You know, it's a lot different nowadays making a video. And it's like you got to really put a lot of time, a lot of effort, a lot of like cutthroat stuff to like try to get the right songs, the right like money to for all this stuff to like really get this project put together properly. It was like I I wish I wish more like companies or or more. People putting out this like content would actually just pony up and just, like spend the money on exactly. a good song. Exactly. And that's like changes the whole aspect of everything, which yeah. is sick. Like yeah. it's like so cool. That's what's cool about Pedro's stuff is like Pedro really like and that's the cool thing with Pedro. I think he like kinda like caters like into like what he wants the song to be. He he listens to like all types of music and stuff. It's all really cool. Like me, I'm I s I, I'm mainly just listening to rap music, you know? Mm-hmm. And that's not always good with skating. Like, you know, it's cool, but like Obviously, as a skater, I don't always want to hear rap music while I'm watching a skate video. Yeah. And I mean, all I do is listen to rap music like normally. But if it's your part and you want to be stoked, on I don't it for the like. Rest of your yeah, life. like everyone's asking me, like, yeah. "Oh, what do you want to skate to?" Honestly, I can't really tell you mm-hmm. off the bat because I don't know anything else other than this rap music that I listen to that's mm-hmm. come out in the past couple of years. And like, sometimes it works, but like most of the time, it doesn't give you that. Feeling, you know, that's like, good. New music when it comes yeah. out doesn't really work with skating. Going it's hard on. sometimes because yeah. it's like you know it's like it's kind of like skating how it is. It's super quick. The like they put yeah, it out. Vibe with it. They put it out super fast. Yeah. All a lot of rap music nowadays is kind of like not as like thought out or like hard to do. You know, it's kind of mm. like quicker. They punch yeah, in, yeah. punch yeah, out. Yeah, it's like right it's kind of different. You it's know? funny. Right, like right. It, just because you like a song doesn't mean it'll be good to skate. Oh no, no, no. Like some people just think that. You want to skate? You're like seventy five percent of my music I listen to not good to skate. Yeah, it's good to for hype me up to skate. Right, but that with tricks and everything it doesn't match up yeah, yeah. and it's cool like you want to be able to like know all 
different types of music to like get feelings out of people. Yeah. yeah. Here's a question. If you were coming out with a video part and you didn't like any of the music, nothing was nothing was vibing, you know, maybe something was too expensive that you really wanted. Yeah. And, you know, we all know the the struggles of music and stuff. Definitely. It's so hard. Would you just put out a would you rather go with a song that was kind of mediocre or another option would be put out your part with no music or hmm. push the lifeline of it no and keep just, on working on it uh no, 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 just, nah, he's not even given that option yeah. no <laughs> uh i don't know it's a tough one i definitely wouldn't because music because it's hard because it's like it's like rough cuts are dope that's the thing if it's no music or nothing i wouldn't want just straight skating i want like falls and like you know i want mm. to see the builds up okay. like i want to see like the the effort the the, the you want more of a raw uncut exactly kind of if there's no music interesting mm. yeah okay but also but see that's the thing it's like you're if putting you, your heart and soul into this part yeah you want it to be good yeah and you don't want to put a bad song on there but like if you do enough digging you can get a good song for the right price or you could even get a friend that does music totally. yep. to make the yeah, right make beat or sure. make the right thing but do you like, want to settle for that that's i mean the thing, that's thing. A, you might not be settling you might find something new that you've never heard before it's like i think you have to like it's hard for people or Sometimes people get so stuck on something that mm -hmm. like, oh, I need that. Totally. And like sometimes you definitely feel that way as a you skater. You don't hear anything else. And you don't hear anything else. And it's hard because like you said, like in your mind, you have this thought, you have this process and like you have this imagination of the whole project together. And it's like sometimes it's like, oh, like maybe I have to figure it out. Or honestly, it's like sometimes you might just run it and then have to figure it out later. Well, like, then you got like- Run it, put it on like a different YouTube. You got Kyle Camarillo <laughs> like Rum with you and Rumble? I, yeah. yeah, put it on like uh, your own personal YouTube right, or something. Right, like yeah, if, right. That's the thing. If you're really that emotionally connected to it, then like maybe like- yeah. Just do it. Well, because there's been a lot of great skate videos uh, in uh, parts- oh, Back in the day? With parts like, without music. Oh yeah, that too. Yeah, yeah. So, there has been. PJ Ladd. Yeah, God, silence is golden. Mm -hmm. Yep. I mean, Ron it just Chapman. depends. It really whole, depends on the person, the, uh, and like, yeah. I mean, it depends on the person, and it depends on the skating, because obviously, some people is like they get complimented, and some people are just like, wow, that person's so like a shot. I could watch him skate with no music. Yeah. Pretty yes. much. And no. that's the thing, though, is like I depends on I, the person. There's so many types. Of, there's so many videos <laughs> that come out these days, and I'm like, this song is so. The song's horrible. Yeah. Like yeah. I would rather just have them have no song on. That's that's the worst. Dude, like, and uh, let's just let's just skate, you know? Yeah. Just I mean whatever. that's the thing. Like, I when it comes down to it, I rather have no song than a terrible song. Yes. There you yeah. go. Yeah. There that's you go. the bare minimum of it, yes. But right. you you work with people that like have good music taste. Like yeah, Kyle yeah. Camarillo, you know you can do a new yeah. balance thing, you're like, okay, I'm in good hands. So yeah, I'm not gonna, yeah, like yeah. you watch this video exactly. come out and yeah, it's like his, some, it's his name on that video too. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Oh, you do you lean on the people that are around you. Yeah. Like, do yeah. you like this song? Does yeah. this work? Do you see this mm -hmm. like working yeah. with my skating? Like, you know? Yeah. yeah. It's funny, like even one of my parts, I was like, I don't see this song working. And they're like, No, no, keep Kyle's like, No, it it works. And then I was like, Oh, it yeah, sometimes you can't see it, it until the yeah, whole thing is yeah. complete. Like yeah, you're missing yeah. th certain things that's all off, and then you add one little thing, and then it's like, wow, they all click together. Yeah, yeah. but if it's a song too that you're not familiar with either, you're like, I don't know. Dude. Yeah, and that's like, the thing with me a lot. It's got to work its way into it. You that's know? the thing yeah. with me a lot is like since I only really know rap music, like I know I'm like, just like I don't know a lot of songs like if like songs can get me hyped with the skating, but like uh, like other types of genres, you know, like random genres. Mm -hmm. But if it's just that genre by itself, I don't know why, but to me. It just doesn't like I don't resonate with it or something, you know. Right. Like it has to have the skating behind it to right. be like. But like, like Andrew with my like uncross part, you know, like that song. Like if you I, if you were to play that, uh, I forget, is it Z uh, Frank Zappa or someone or who? Frank, Frank Zappa? Zappa? Zappa. Zappa. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's like whoever like that. If I listen to that by myself, I might not. Even, I might be like, oh, I don't even like this, you know. But then right. like I didn't know anything about that song. Andrew edited the video. He said, he's like, yo, I got this song. Like, it's going to go crazy. He showed me the song. I was like, I could see how it might go good, but this is like. Not my it's, shit. It's not my style, but obviously I know this. You know, that's the yeah. thing. I'm fine with, I know this, that like, I'm only knowing rap music really. So like, I have to trust people, of but course. not just trust people. Like, I know Andrew's going to like do yeah, some amazing thing, stuff. He's, trying to make he's sure the person to trust. Yeah. The process. He's like, sure. I want you to feel some type of way when you mm -hmm. watch your part. And I was like, yeah. I would love that. By but the way, you know? by the way, the, the song is Frank Zappa, Watermelon, and Easter Hay. That okay. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And that's something I would never know. <laughs> and then like, I didn't even see the part until the premiere day, you know? And oh, wow. I was just like, like, I was so hyped. It's one of my favorite parts that I've, I've had in just the sense of like, 
something that I didn't even know about, like something, a song I never knew, mm -hmm. like made you like kind of captured the skating in a different way than like usually I'm listening to skating to rap music or something, you know? Mm -hmm. So it's like, it's cool, it's different. It's mm -hmm. like, and it's like, I, and that's the thing, I trust those people around me to like tell me these things. You got and very like, good people. To yeah, trust. and that's the oh, thing. Man. I like, yeah, yeah I like. been doing this shit. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Especially Andrew. It's yeah. like, oh, yeah. Andrew, you want to like, is, is, hey, oh, Andrew, you want it to be like, all right, cool. You know, it's like, yeah, yeah, a lot yeah, of the yeah, time yeah, it goes, yeah, yeah. like, you know. And you could suggest a lot of things too. Yeah, he but loves like, it. He loves it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, you know it, it's an interesting take on it because mm -hmm. there are so many videos that are coming out. You look at all the old school videos; they have the most epic songs. It's like Jamie, uh, Jamie Thomas has right. the most epic songs. Yeah. You know, it's like those epic songs are really hard to find nowadays. Yeah, but those, yeah. Song, far those songs are also kind of like uh, associated with their brand. You know but also mean? back in that right. day, like, did they have to get music rights for that song? Oh no, they bought. Oh, no, they, they but that's the thing. That. Yeah, yeah, I, I, that I heard stories like where they would basically create a fake company. Like for videos, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? mm -hmm. but yeah. you can't use those songs because they've already been used. Even, yeah. even if they had to get yeah. the rights, and that's the right. thing too with skating is obviously you can't reuse songs. Right, like, that's like a big thing. It's like oh, so wow. that, but that has been done. It, it gets done. It does, but get then done. you have the people say, ah, oh. <laughs> <laughs> what's his name skated? To, what's his name skated to it already? Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. Then you can be like, well, I skated to it better. I mean, but think about it, it's like what. It's, no, you didn't. Nah. That's why you're, using, you're using that as inspiration because at the end of the day, that's that's already been done. I'll watch a mean? movie and I'll I'll see like a I'll hear a song like that was in another movie. I don't give a fuck. Right. Like as right. long as I like. But that's different. Yeah. Though. yeah. That's that's so or, different. Makes me feel a certain way when it so gets me hyped. You know? I get I get that, but that is different. Yeah. yeah. I would say it's more like. Uh, so you're gonna use Teenage Wasteland in your next video <laughs> like, part, Jamie? Like P. It's, Rod skating to like Michael Jackson. Yeah, but see, I it's like that, if you're putting a part out and someone else is skated to it. Would you want someone watching your part and just being like thinking of the other person the whole time? No, I don't care. What do you mean you don't care? Don't they care. want them watching your skating and I thinking would. about no, your watch, skating, and you want them to resonate with your skating. Like you want them to remember your song, exactly. your part. Yeah. Like like what's so cool about a lot of those like this? Those, this is why we made soundtracks. Yeah, exactly. The yeah, soundtracks of the skate parks. You yeah. can like some, you can like like, like like you grow up watching a skate video. That soundtrack. You know, you could literally just put the headphones on and listen to the video, and you know, all right, he did this line right here. Right here. He did yes. this trick right here. And it's like it. cool. You could pretty much visualize it. Mm -hmm. So it's like, if you're gonna use a song that's been used, it's like, yeah, people as soon as people are already gonna think of that person and not exactly. watch your stuff. Yeah. Exactly. Let me ask you a question, Raj. If you made, like, say you made the the uh, enjoy video, right? I did. Yeah, I know. So, it you made, <laughs> so you made oververt, yeah. right? And then the next year, another video comes out using the same music. It did happen. Okay, how'd yeah. you feel? I didn't care. Well, the cat, I don't know. It's just it's hard. <laughs> that's, that's hard. That's right. Yeah. yeah. But I a mean, video that you put your blood, blood, sweat, and tears into, and then somebody else care. just uses the same I, music. I, I still I made a care great video someone used it. I yeah, that, it's not taking anything yeah. away from you, but yeah. it, again, no, but like, you try, you, you, once someone puts out a video part with that song, it's like, that's their song. Totally. That's their song. Yeah. But wait, what if they did a shitty job? But that's the thing. It's kind of bad for them. That's what I'm saying. That's different. No. It's not bad on you. No, but if you like, Skate to the same song that someone put a shitty version to it, you know, and like right. you came out <laughs> swinging and made it, and made it legit. Like, but yours came out first, right? No, even after. Ah, that's it, what I'm it, saying. If your footage fact, is fucking, you know where this song came from. Yeah, you know where the song totally. came from. If you if you now you're, if you're doing it as homage, like oh I'm bigging up, thank you for the inspiration type you, shit. That's different. Homage, awesome, Do a section. Cool. But, but I mean, but like if you're I still if you're look hung, at it different. If, if you're hung up on like wanting that song, <laughs> go for it. Right. You know what I mean? Like, if it makes you happy, like, and you're, you're psyched on your part, cool. Yeah. That's it. I just don't think that, like, using, like, Jamie Thomas's Teenage Wasteland song in a new video part with some dude yeah. is just nah. gonna, you're just like, nope. what are you doing, dude? dude you it's gonna, it's gonna fucking happen. I know, but dude, it's probably branding, already it's happened. Yeah. Way to it's do definitely it. already it's happened. It's your branding yourself, dude. Like, when you, drawn, like, your parts, like, you know, like, all your song in fucking uh, Skate More. Mm hmm. Like whatever, like we everyone knows that song for you. Exactly, exactly. and that's like, why I'm speaking on. Yeah. And even like fucking uh, the, my video part where uh, in FTC video, it got it got replicated again. Aaron Mesa chose that song, uh, Mary J. Blige. Uh -huh. You know, yeah. And uh, someone from Max Allure used it again, mm -hmm. and I was like, oh, okay, that's tight. But I also was like, damn, that's kind of like, look, it, this, the song hits you, and you it felt it was gonna work. But, but guarantee the person already had no huh? clue. Guarantee the he probably didn't. Yeah. He probably, but that's that's kind of crazy. I mean, that's that shit crazy gets gone real quick around here. That shit is kind of crazy yeah. to me. Yeah, the thing is with me, I would say like, if I use a song first and then someone else uses it after, hey, on to you, try it out. Like you know, that's fine. Mm -hmm. But like, it's just like bad for them. I would say because right. it's like you're not, yeah, they're not, right. they're not being their own en entity. Right. In the end of the day, it's like. They like and say if you're an artist, that. you like took yeah. you took some other person's artwork and then like 
just like kind of like reinvented it as your own and just did a couple of different strokes or something. It's right, like so, so when you're doing a part, like a lot of times, like the editor has all your footage and he's just playing around trying to figure out what song works. And he finds that song that works. He might not know the past. There's a website. Yeah, but you, <laughs> yeah, but you have people it's around you. Yeah, and, and he might go back he, 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 could sure. go, he could go back and watch you. Like, Skate video ah, site. I has, think this is going to be better. Hey, but you got people around you being like, dude, that that's been used already. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, oh, that's the first thing. No, I'll but I think that's this is strong enough. I, yeah. We're gonna use it. Like, like, I nope. don't care. And, I, like, and, and you know what? Kareem made the right choice by giving P Rod fucking. I don't know if he made the right choice. I think he did. I don't know if he did. We talked about this before. Yeah, yeah like I, I, look, I respect that he made that choice, yeah. but I don't think it was the right choice. That's just my opinion. Yeah, just it's like just better to be an entity of like you want it to represent the person. Yeah. Like and it, and it did in disregard of what Paul dude, Paul is Paul. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He, he was gonna shine regardless. But what I'm saying is it's like it did it didn't give him his own. It it mm-hmm. it, it mm-hmm. made you try to recreate something that was already and like now, whether wh- whether you thought Paul was like the new guy yeah. type of scenario. What if Paul skated to a budget ass song? I mean, hey, nowadays you could literally remix I mean, a song. It's still gonna be Paul. You can like, remix a song. Be, if you wanna do homage, Paul. like you wanna do homage to someone, just get a little you can go on remix. SoundCloud and find a remix to it and pay the person oh, totally. thirty dollars. You know, <laughs> yeah. it's not how you approach it, but I mean, yeah. at the same time, like if like uh, I just if feel like person, if things like, are best left touch, it's kind of like if things are best if things have been left good, like they're best left like that. T- yeah, agreed. You know, it's it, just like know, fine with that. Again, you're talking about like it's you know a person puts in you know years yeah, sometimes yeah. into a video part, yeah, you know, yeah. and then only to kind of just later down the line somebody else just uses the same and that's song. The you're of, just like, and that's the difference of dude. then to now. Like if you're talking about like a Jamie Thomas part back in the day that took years how to about, film, and this? that's like so crazy. Nowadays it's like, oh, someone might use the song and put it in a part that they filmed in six months, and it's like, right? What if that person didn't even want to skate to that song? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold yeah. on, what? What if that person didn't even want to skate to that song? It just got put out. <laughs> Like, oh, fuck, I'm skating this song. I don't even like this song. It, it but then they become known for that song. It doesn't matter. Right. Don't be mad at me. Later. Be mad at your editor. Yeah. Doesn't that's all. Matter. That's like that's just communication, man. That you oh, just got to totally. have communication like, skills. It's like, yeah. this is that's just so many what ifs right man, now. Yeah. I think. Just don't, I think. There's a lot of what ifs. Yeah. Just don't There's a lot of what ifs. Songs. Especially yeah. if it's like a well, like, it, yeah. it has that, you yeah, know, that it factor. You know what I mean? If I think about Wilson or Jamie Ford, I think of that song. Don't use that song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you know what I mean. Exactly. If I think Robert, Kelly, Kelly thought of it. Straight up. No, I, re- I, 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 I think the same way yeah, as that. Kind of yeah. the same yeah, but way. How he has an impact. Leave it alone. There's a whole generation of kids that have no, never seen that fucking part or song. Or yeah, that's that fine. Well, they should go back sure. and check it they out. They need sure. to fucking look at. that. I definitely history, agree bro. with you on that, yeah. but that means they gotta go find it. Yep. And there's gotta be somebody in your circle that's been in the game long enough to be like, hey, dude, come on, man. Just because they don't know it existed doesn't mean that it didn't exist. I don't think it's worth the fight, guys. Yeah, it is what it is. We're just but. having a conversation. Oh, You're the one that's getting just, all heated. No, this is fun. I, I love this. I love this. Heated discussions. <laughs> no, because like I'm I, surprised that he's actually on this, like thinking like this. Yeah. Like, You're, the You're the editor, editor and man. filmer. I'm like, really? I mean, at the end of the day, I want, like, if I'm editing someone's part, I want that person like, like who like what like I want them psyched in their part. Of course. If they're psyched in like the part with the song that was used 15 years ago, cool. Really? I, I don't think that reflects you, though. I don't if we're, care. If we're, if we're, if we're, if we're talking about you, Paul, though. I don't think Paul knew he was having that song. No, he didn't. Until the video was no, actually showing. He didn't. So he didn't have a choice. No. And that, if, he, it, if he had a choice, crazy. I think he would have been like, you know what, dude? Even at 16, I don't know if I should do this, dude. Right. But even like, Guy, Guy didn't know he was going to skate that part, song in blind video. Well, but that, that, that's the first one. It's never been used. never been used before. What are we talking about? I love you, dude. This is a fact. How do you know it was on someone's sponsored tape? Come on. How do you know it was on someone's sponsored tape? No. Come on. You never know. Nobody saw that, dude. Nobody saw that. I don't know. Can I roll Nobody saw that. quick? Yeah. It's All not right, a cool. real, it's not a valid uh, Can't use that. argument. Yeah. <laughs> Can't use that since someone swatched me tape here. <laughs> Timmy no, Battle skated to it years ago. No, Sorry. Nobody knows who Timmy Battle is. <laughs> Oh, he was good. He was good. Timmy, Timmy Battle. Battle. Timmy Battle was the best. What are we talking about? Sponsor me tapes now? Yeah. yeah. No, no, you, put, you don't put any music in a sponsor me tape. That's, That's true. what happens. That's true, dude. If you're putting music in your sponsor me tape, bro, you're doing some I shit. I just, can't, I just can't believe. <laughs> as a video editor, I just can't believe that you would say like, "Oh, I, I don't care anymore." Well, hey, That's but different. see, that, That's, That's different. kind of. Yeah. But That's the, different. But, but you. But, that's different. I don't care. It's not worth but fucking being pissed off about. But you should care, though, because there is history. About the piece but there, and that person that, that is cool. behind that. But know? there's history in skateboarding that you should respect, though. If you're editing that, somebody's... That, that person's part, that's their history now. They, like, they want to skate to that song, cool, they can skate to that song. If that's what makes them happy, let them go and be happy. Well, Jamie's talking in the back. He's on the phone. What's he doing? He's, he's, he's on a Zoom call. <laughs> Look, this has only happened... Uh, 
a handful maybe of times. a few times yeah it's only a handful of times. you know what i'm saying and and in those times yes i know with paul's situation it was an homage to guy he you know kareem thought you know there was resemblance and look at i get it but at the same time i'm like dude he should have had his own first song that that showcased paul and his come to you know what i'm saying i'm just like, wondering like if like kareem picked a really just budget song would paul be paul Skate, come on, Paul dude. is already. No, song is not going to dictate this dude's skateboarding. But like he basically, like okay. by skating to that song was a statement. You know what I mean? It put every, like everyone started this. paying attention to it too. I'll say this: I didn't. They're going to pay I attention to whatever it was. Bro. I hadn't was seen. Paul. I hadn't seen video days yet. But this is like, and I was already um, Paul mm -hmm. Paul's days. And I saw that part and I was like that's fucking cool mm. but I had no idea and then I looked back I was like oh that was a crazy move actually to actually skate to that song straight up mm. after finding that out and I was like but still okay but I never um real quick the other one that happened was uh Ragdoll skated the song that uh Van England skated to in photosynthesis Ooh, photosynthesis I didn't yeah. know that. and I remember watching it years later and seeing it and I was like oh that was just like Love Ragdoll, but that was odd to watch. Mm -hmm. I kept thinking of just Van oh, England, Van and I England, couldn't get right. into it. I was like, Van England, see, that's all I'm that's thinking about. Board. That's I'm odd. Yeah, I don't think that that's. You don't want <laughs> the, the skateboarder that's showcasing his skills to have that fucking somebody else thinking about somebody yeah. else. But Ragdoll probably just really liked the song. No, he did say that. He this said he is, really want to skate to it. But I was yeah. like, yeah, but a lot of people that are, especially back then, you're like, oh, dude, Van England used that. Yeah, like. Back then, especially everyone. Oh, yeah, that's when everyone said more that. so. Yeah, this is, is, worse this, back this then, is why yeah. I love this type of conversation because, like, it just we are all so passionate about yeah. what skateboarding means to each and every yeah, one of so us. So subjective, you know what like, I mean? So it's very subjective, yeah. but at the same time, like, it there there is a history aspect of it. It's like for sure there is like respect there. You know, it's like yeah. everybody in this room has a kind of a different opinion, but you know, a few yeah. of us have the same opinion. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, but I I don't know. I like that. I like that that passion comes out. Yeah, people watching sure. right now are like, damn, yeah. you motherfuckers yeah. I mean, are I, I did, fighting right now. Yeah. Music. The the day, I didn't choose that <laughs> Mary J song. Like, like, I didn't choose that Mary J song in the FTC video, but that shit is mine. Yeah, there <laughs> you go. Yes. Straight up. Yes. Where's, my, where's my gavel? Let's go. Where's my gavel? That, <laughs> what, if it was, what if he skated to ween? To who? Push the little daisies, make come up or something like that. It would oh, like, 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 look at that. That's your, what that's if, your song. We can't no, what if that, the world you, yeah. to, to hell, dog. Raj, this is a losing battle for me. What if the sky is a losing battle for everyone? <laughs> it's not. I mean, <laughs> what if you never This is a losing battle for me arguing you, again, with you yeah. about this. Yeah, again, we're not going to change your mind, obviously. No. You have especially, your mindset. You're not going to change his mind with some what ifs. The world keeps turning. If the first word is what if, what if, what if, we're just going to be here all night. Well, thanks for coming, Jamie. This has been great, dude. I appreciate you. Thank you for having me, man. I just love how you he fucking knew the lyrics to Ween or whatever. Just like, I love that. Ween. Is it Queen or Ween? Ween. 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 Okay. Oh, no. So let's go back to the <laughs> original thing. We don't know who Sodi's gonna be, right? Is this Not at all. Is this the, okay. Okay. Yeah. Back. Yeah. Crazy where we ended up. Where we ended up. Not use someone's song. Oh, yeah, w. We don't use Jerron song. No. Dude. Never no. again. I heard, well, I heard hey, anyone a, do not use that Mary J. Please, please bro. I please. heard Nigel's new parts. So he's gonna use Ween though. Oh wow. Yeah. <laughs> And it's already confirmed. It's already okay. good though. Yeah. No one skated to it. No but one what if, to. But what if somebody did? <laughs> Someone probably did. <laughs> Nigel would not game. use that song. Hey, we yeah. just go on the website and check it's it like out. 10 if to it's 20 not on the website, dropping every day. <laughs> if it's not on the website, you're good. Yeah, you're, 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 you could stamp of approval. It's bro. twenty. It's twenty twenty two. We could just Google who skated to it. That's pretty know? much true. Yeah, yeah, that's the coolest part. Yeah. Um, I love the passion, everybody. I love it. I love it. I love it so much. Like I said, people listening, I'm like, Jesus, come on, fuckers. That was he did right now. They're gonna know it's but it's passion. We're all friends. We're just rapping out, having a good, good, good conversation with Jamie Foy, dude. Up, man. Uh, what's going on now? You're going to anything coming out? I mean, we're at the end of the year. Yeah. Obviously, any no parts coming out? We're not going for late, late, late November? Nah, nothing. Okay. Nothing right now. Uh, I mean, I, ha I had a couple of things that were supposed to come out this year, but just like with like companies, you know, like things get pushed back. Sure. So like things kind of got pushed back to next year. So I got a couple of things dropping next year and... Uh, I'm stoked. I've been working on it's kind of some stuff that I've been sitting on for a while. And it's just like not that it's like bad. It's just like things that like like Andrew when he was editing, like he like cut some stuff out that I mean I'm still <clears throat> super stoked on. So I could just hold him into the next thing, which okay. I was hyped on because it still like gave me some stuff for like the next project and stuff. Yeah, nice. A little cushion. Yeah, exactly. And it's like exactly something in the bank is like yep. something that I can yeah, like I'm, work off of and stuff like that. It's a nice starting point. So yeah, yeah. I think like next year's like Dickie's video. We're Dose. mainly working on that like a full length of the whole team. Uh, Looking forward to that. Uh, yeah. 
uh, uh, New Balance. I think we're working on a video. Uh, that's like where like kind of was supposed to be happening this year, but then Tiago had that new shoe come out. Yep. So I think, I think things got kind of pushed the back Tiago a little bit. The Tiago campaign is amazing, by the yeah. way. Exactly. No, like, so that's the thing. That, I think they knew, like, they took it from, like, they were figuring it out when, because they kind of had, like, this whole, like, when Tiago was, like, right after Tiago got on, they wanted to have, like, a video with Tiago, me, and West, uh, Brandon Westgate. Okay. Sick. And it's like, okay, that was an amazing idea. And then, like, kind of they got into the whole thing of his second shoe is dropping, and uh, I don't know if, like, they realized how big it would be because like like it was amazing like they killed it too i think they wanted to take mm -hmm. as much time to make it a really good release and it really was such a sick drop and everything so that i think might have like helped push it back a little bit but it's all good like i'm just soaked to like try to get out and just go skate with uh, everyone i mean love going on trips this last previous year was kind of like a lot of uh, competitions uh mm -hmm. next year i might not do so many but i mean i think uh like the olympic qualifiers about to start back up just go for the best tricks so i mean right i mean hey, as many <laughs> best tricks there are i'm down you know <laughs> but like it's just like uh gonna have to next year manage my whole like trips wise a lot because this year was a lot of trips next year is probably gonna be a lot of trips but this year was kind of more super easy with like just contest, 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 skate trip, contest, skate trip like it's like but now next year i think it's gonna be a lot more interlaced so i'm gonna have to like figure it out you get burnout um are you still some, enjoying every minute of it i mean i'm not burnt out in the sense i'm not enjoying myself yeah. i love it i'm super enjoying myself but obviously everyone's got them times where i'm just like damn like I just kind of want to be home and do nothing for right. like a yeah, couple yeah, days yeah. like especially me being a i'm a pretty big homebody okay. i mean i don't like going out and like and like doing stuff that much you know i'm down to hang out with the homies and do all that type of things but like when it comes to like having to like go out and do stuff or trying to like show up for certain things like it can kind of get straining and like 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 autograph signings and stuff or, yeah like that stuff's cool events. events and stuff yeah i mean it's just like cool to like have like your trips and then you come home like it, it's kind of hard when it's back to back yeah yeah that's uh, the hardest that's thing. kind of what i was referring to is like yeah because you mentioned you've been to like 50 different places recently this year it was back to back it's kind of hard uh just like straining uh thankfully though I, I i like i live in florida and i have a place here in california so it's like i can like if i'm going this way I can go to California and go that way. If I'm going to Europe, I can go back home to Florida and chill. And then like, you know, it's kind of have like- Ooh, you got a little halfway little point. Little station. Uh, like, uh, it kind of it yeah. works perfectly. I love, like, dude, that's, yeah. that that's is dope great. as hell. It's kind of like my like whole thing. It's like, oh, if I'm in California for a while doing stuff, it's like, oh, and I know I'm gonna go to Europe in a few weeks. I'll like fly to Florida for a week before and like dude. get a little like three hour head of start or like it's a little jump start on yeah. the time change and less traveling. Do you have like, roommates in Florida? Yeah, I got roommates in Florida at my house. So yeah. yeah, just people that make sure like the house Does is take like- Take care of it? Take care of it, yeah. roommates here too? Uh, yeah, some roommates here, okay. yeah. Pretty much okay. at the house, it's like, uh, I just also like being around people all the time. Yeah. I mean, I just like having people around like, you know, it just makes things fun, you yeah. know? Mm -hmm. Like sitting, I am a homebody, but I like being at home like with people, mm -hmm. like with my friends and stuff, family or whatever. It's like, it's cool to just like, I like hanging out, but hanging out by yourself definitely gets boring sure yeah so sure, you know it's sure. like always fun to watch something and chat and make fun of something or like have fun like talk about music and yeah this, all <laughs> kind of this, stuff, <laughs> this this stuff happens all the time around like because i'm just always like my house is a skate house you yeah know, that's why all we have the show yeah. yeah exactly it's literally what it is it's like it's just like dude you get in the most random conversations <laughs> and the most random heated arguments like sure. about the most like pointless thing and then you kind of get to the end of it you're like all right, whatever. It doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, literally, yeah, kind of like anyway, what about Sodi? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's like there's always something new to talk about. It's always fun, and it's like always like things are like it's cool. Like my homies in Florida, I got my like my home in Florida. Mm -hmm. My homies, if I'm in LA for a while, they're always like, "Oh, we got these new spots." You know, it's like blah blah. Uh -huh. So it's like it's always cool being able to like have your home base and stuff. I like, love that. Do you have a film back coastal. home? Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah, by coastal. coastal. It's like you know being in Florida is like I know like moving to California. I love doing like it was awesome, and I was like stoked to do it when I was younger. And then as soon as I was out here for a while, like I was like, man, like it's not home to me because it's not like Florida where I grew up. You know, there's no place like home. Yeah, like I love skating out here. It's amazing. And people out here are great. Uh, I mean, a lot of people that are out here kind of aren't even from here. You realize a lot of times like. Like a lot of people I hang out with are all from Florida, you know. So it's like I was about kinda, to say, I was like, you yeah. brought the crew down here. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's kind of how it went. So it's really easy to go both sides and stuff. Can but, we just say really quickly about Florida? I mean, the, all the people that are coming out of Florida right yeah. now. I mean, like all your homies, Gnarly. ish. 
Yeah. John D. Lowe. Dude, I mean, like, you, like Pedro. Pay, everybody. Crazy, bro. Yeah, you, guys go, you guys are on fire. There's right a lot of, now. there's a lot of people. There's a lot of people as you're like, oh yeah, he's from Florida. You're, they're like, people are like, wait, what? Really? You're like, yep. Like, yeah. It's Is like, that kid dude, Noah from down Noah, right? Noah Pollard? Yeah. Yeah. He's from Florida. He's sick, dude. Yeah. Zion F's is from Florida. Yeah, he's been yeah, popping like, on like with the like kids. He's a Santa Cruz kid, right? Yeah. He's on yeah. Santa Cruz. Yeah. And like, yeah, I mean, it's just like, I mean, like I said, I think I've said it before on, on this thing but mm -hmm. uh california you know you can skate all year round florida you can skate all year round Same, yeah. so right. it's like you know it's like until a hurricane comes yeah no it's even better when <laughs> and everything's closed you can go skate whatever you want <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know? advantage. it's yeah. like all right you got you got 12 hours to like chill right and then you go skate when everything's dusted it's pretty sick yeah you make new spots too like trees popping up tiles we don't have earthquakes <laughs> yeah. y'all get that so yeah, it's yeah, like yeah, yeah. you know That's it's true. just like it's super cool. I, it's just, people don't realize that it's like, yeah, it's just like Florida, super tropical, mm -hmm. super like, you know, you could skate all year round. There's no like six months of like, oh, we can't go outside. You know, yeah. it sucks to be outside. Like yeah. the worst thing is you got to deal with the heat. But like, yeah. you know, that's like, it trains you. Like, you know, that stuff, being able to skate in that heat. Like when I go back, I get humbled. Like yeah. Char, so sure. hard. I'll just be like, oh man, like drinking gallons of water, yeah. sweating. I'll be like, I forgot to bring another shirt. No. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, you know, like, yeah, it's just like, you know, you get in your car, you're like, ah, oh, I forgot another shirt. Oh, like, I'm so nasty right now. Like, yeah, it's it's a different thing. But it's like, I you love going like back Chris home. Have a wardrobe. Yeah, I love, I love going back home and skating. It's like one of my favorite things. And it's mm -hmm. like, it, like I said, like going back and forth keeps things fresh. You're always hyped, you yes. know? It's like, and that's what's cool about traveling cool. so much. Yeah. I love traveling so much because it's always new, fre new things meet new faces you see the same old faces in different places too which is sick yeah. it's like you know you realize how small the world is you especially in skateboarding exactly it's so Mainly small it's, yeah. Yeah. especially in skating time. especially in skating but like it's crazy just like you realize like you learn all these new things you go see all these new cultures you see all these mm. new places you kind of like get like an, uh, you kind of like get a sense of like oh like wow like this is how the real world is like in certain places where like you know you only heard about and you can't really like oh no you can't imagine that and you go see it for your first like right. for your time like you know like I mean like I've like this year I've traveled so many different like I've gone all over Europe like I've gone down to I went to South Korea uh, went to uh, Brazil like a couple like a month ago I was in oh, Brazil right. Brazil is one of those places you know it's like a beautiful place but it's one of those places you go and you really realize that like okay like stuff's real here you know it's like, die yeah, yeah it's like you know you gotta be <laughs> on your you gotta be on your careful, toes yeah. you like you don't want to it's not that like it's not that those people they're not bad people it's just their situations are are heavy you know it's just like you know like a lot of people you know it's like they're not as fortunate as we are in the states and it's like you know it's like a lot and that's why you, you kind of see brazilian skaters and you're like wow they're hungry they're, they're killing really it dude, it's like, hey, if you go out to brazil bro. you're gonna see why like yeah. you know it's like that it's contest, real out there dirt with people watching the contest and that's another thing those fans are insane dude. Passionate. yeah those fans like that's the thing it's all passion like if brazil is such a beautiful place the fans out there are insane like going to the competition there the love that people have for skating is amazing like it's mm -hmm. one of the i heard it's like one of the biggest sports out there like mm -hmm. next to football and yeah. stuff you yeah. know yeah. so it's like you know i think people are starting to realize that you can be your own entity in skating over there and it's like a big thing over there they got a big culture of skating and I mean, just them being Brazil, like in Brazil, Brazilians, their culture together, they're so strong together, you know? Yeah. So it's like, cool when you see them out here, like they're all together and they really like back each other up. And it's like, cool. It's like, I mean, it's so hard. I can't imagine being any, like, I can't even imagine being like having to go somewhere and learn a whole new language mm -hmm. just to like get by and like do skateboarding, you know? Right. Yeah. Just to skate. Like imagine if you had to like move to like South Korea and that was that was where the skate industry was, you know. And you had to go learn how to speak Korean, yeah. like you know, like like you. We would do it. It's like you so would do hard. It, but it's yeah. like you know, it's like I give my hats off to anyone that comes from another country, like getting into the skate industry because it is here. Like that's the thing. Even being from Florida, it's like oh, you got to go to California. You know, it's like nowadays, thankfully, it's been different. A lot mm -hmm. big East Coast industry kind of is more popping up now. Companies, you know, you kind of kind of stay where you're at. You can. Yeah. in the east coast west coast style now before it was like oh you gotta go to california mm -hmm. yeah yeah but now it's like you know now it's like kind of slowly changing uh, slowly changing but like still like everyone's got to come to the states at least like you know learn english and it's like especially like if you're from brazil or something like that it's like it's not easy you know japan, yeah. too. japan, japan it's like not talent, easy bro. like you know like yeah. it's yeah. just like it's really hard and i'll always give respect to all those anyone that like is doing it you know it's just especially like people like a lot of my friends like if they're like 
uh, Portuguese, if they're from Brazil or Portugal or Spain or whatever, and they're like speaking Spanish or Portuguese or whatever, and they're like, oh, sorry, my English isn't so good. It's like, dude, You're like, chilling, bro. my like, Portuguese yeah. is even worse. My, exactly. Yeah. That's what I always yeah. say. I say, my Portuguese is none. Yeah. My, my, my Spanish is terrible. Yeah. Like, you know, I got a little bit, but that's it. Yeah. Like, you yeah. know, big ups to you. You're killing it. But Any, I got Google Translate. Yeah. Anytime you're trying true. to talk to me, like, you're doing the best. Like, sure. you're already killing it. And, I thank you so much. Like, yeah. you know, it's already like, yeah. this is one of those things you realize is like moving around. It's like, man, you got to like really adapt. So like, it's like, it's a, it's a big world, you know? Totally. It's a big world, but a small world. You got to realize that we're all the same. Oh, for yep. sure. And the thing about the Brazilians too that I actually, I, I absolutely love is because they, they, I mean, a lot of them are very history. Like they very know, history. Oh, like they, they know they, the history. They know who skated what song. Oh, they know who skated what song. You already know that, Raj. They'll yeah. tell you all that. Yeah. Yeah. They'll tell you not to skate to that song yeah. because yeah. Yeah. somebody exactly else skated that They'll be like, nah. Because the homie in Brazil skated that shit already like yeah, hey, ain't yeah. touching that song right? like, yeah yeah come on but I like now. that I like sacred ground yeah. I like that the um, I like the the you know they're into the history of skateboarding oh, yeah, yeah. and stuff like that it's a big thing I feel like For I sure. mean especially nowadays I feel like a lot of kids kind of aren't I mean it's kind of hard spoke, I'm, I, I bug out on it I'm yeah, like damn yeah, but I, know, like, I, I totally understand it we're in a different age and like you know it takes time to go back and look at these videos you know what I'm saying when yeah. you're in the now you want to see content I mean, that's happening on a day to day yeah. basis yeah right. give me a fuck what happened in the past well I want to go back I, I go back go watch H Street video yeah, like I what can. is this shit I see it all you know? the time dude. I go to Woodward like every year and like you know that's where you see I see like it's where I get a big cause like it's different seeing kids like at a demo signing whatever mm -hmm. like that's different you know you're not really like almost living with these people and that's the thing at woodward it's like you see them around and you're like hearing their conversation and you're like you're getting this and it's like kind of crazy what kids like what one what they talk about on a daily basis is like so random and two is like kind of like where their heads are at and like skating still like nowadays it's kind of like oh like they're just like, getting into it still yeah they're kind of just even kids yeah. that you would look like oh you know what's up and then like some of them are just like oh that's just chris cole it's like, what do, you, what do you mean that's just Chris Cole? Like, that's not a thing. Like, you can't just say, oh, that's just Chris Cole. You can't put just in the front in yeah, front yeah, of Chris yeah, Cole. Yeah, exactly. He's the guy that referees all the battle of lyrics, right? Yeah, exactly, yeah. right? Like, that's, what, that's how they know him. That's yeah. what they think. Yeah. And it's like, Kelly dude. grew up with thinking the, uh, Lance Mountain was just a 401 guy, right? Yeah, pretty much, yeah. Yeah, see? Yeah. You, were, you were one of those people before, dog. Yeah, <laughs> but like, I thought he was fucking tight, dude. Yeah. I was hyped on He's like, he was sick as a 401. I didn't think he was no one. You were, yeah. you were yeah. putting just just in front of Lance Mountain? No, hell just no. no. Oh, he's, oh, he's just a 4 one guy? <laughs> Fuck that. No, I was like, that's the 4 one guy. He's not just, it's the 4 yeah. one guy. Yeah. A lot yeah. more respect that. Respect in that. Was there. Well, the what respect about there. Yeah. 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 A lot more respect in the the, the but yeah. Yeah. Just, just Chris yes. Cole. Yeah, you put like, the in front of, yeah, the Chris Cole? Yeah. Respect. Oh, Here's oh, the thing, though, that I always say, because, like, you know, older kids watch our show, older adults or whatever, but I almost feel like, you know, these kids nowadays, are they'll get to a point. They will. Where they want to turn back and look at what happened. Yeah, you know? yeah, So, like, even with our show, like, it's cool. I don't care. You know, there's, like, kids nowadays, if they don't want to watch, th yeah, maybe yeah. later they'll want to watch exactly. about, yeah, yeah. Something you know, that, Lance Mountain episode yeah. or whatever, you know? Exactly. You that's homework. what's cool about, like, I mean, that's the thing. YouTube getting lost in, like, a whole, like, thing of, like, old YouTube videos. For totally. me, it's still sick. Like, I do it all the time yeah. randomly. Like, yeah, watching all types of random videos. Like, it's so sick. Being able to, like, go back and just see, like, damn, that's that spot, like, back then like you know like you mm -hmm. see it like we're still skating to this day like damn i didn't even know that was like what mm -hmm. people did like you know it's just so different you totally know? Yep. and you learned and, and and it kind of brings you back too sometimes it's like oh wow i forgot about that you know like certain tricks certain ways of seeing things yeah you know? yeah oh shit that's been done yeah Damn. yeah you're like oh yeah. shit i didn't even <laughs> think anyone's ever done that though. <laughs> hey, yeah, this so, guy, that's true oh so you would do a trick if you saw it was done at the so same we, spot at the same spot the, the world is a here. skate park go skate it you know yeah, what i, I think it's funny for coming, jamie when i <laughs> think great. when i think of that i get to a spot and i ask who does tricks and i'm like if someone's done that trick i am not touching it with a 10 foot as if i know like you know someone tells me because I think that spot is gonna like serve me up because that what, trick what, already got that, done. What if that yeah. trick is your warm up trick? That warm up trick is ain't different. Gonna get used. Yeah, he's it's different. Use it. it ain't getting used. But it's all, all of a sudden your buddy's putting it on the gram. I mean, dude, then what if? Hey, what if? What if? A, what, what if? if dude? It's on my because I seen the homie. Do, I seen him do that there, and I just hey, did it. What if was a good video? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a great video. It's a good video. Hey, do you think? I mean, I did that though. Probably... I front crooked like uh, I think I front crooked Hollywood sixteen, put it on the gram. Corey Click did it, and then like you know, mm, and now Puna got a cover. It. You know, it's like it's all retrospect. I mean, hey, a girl front crooking that shit first try, Psycho. that shit deserves cover. Yeah, yeah. that shit's amazing. Straight you know, nah, that's so sick. Hell yeah. And then like with Corey, it's like. 
you know it's just like something is like you know i i think i gave him a little homage on there like you know and that's my good friend of mine too like you know it's like it's different you know it's like certain things it's like and i wouldn't that's the thing if someone used it as an ender in their video part like some grinding some like 20 rail like i'm not gonna just gonna go grind it and put it on the the gram (laughs) out of respect i won't and it's like we Damn, were, you Smith grinded this rail that I fifty fifty or from Feeble did. It's like it's just skateboarding now. That's, that's you know? it. Now We're it's just evolve. skateboarding. Yeah. Now it's just different. Right. Right. You, you get to a spot, someone gives you the breakdown. Someone did this trick on there, and you're like, "What? Yeah, but you didn't film it." I'm not doing it because I'm gonna get served up trying it because the spot was like, "Nah, homie already did this on me, bro." <laughs> yeah, like yeah. That. literally, that's well, how I think. That's I think, literally how I think. I'll be like, the rail would like grab me and say, "No." <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. I mean, you're a real one, man. You got respect no for everything, and I, I, I love it. Yeah, I love it's it, man. also it's just like someone put in a, a bunch of effort for something, even maybe it wasn't hard for them or whatever. It's like, all right, like, and if it is a warm up, it's like you know, it, it it and it goes by. If it came out, that's the main thing too. Mm-hmm. It's like if it. If it was filmed and it came out already, then like, yeah, you can like do it for like warm up as long as you're not like trying to like step on toes and you're not doing it in like th- a way. What if it just came out on Instagram? What, what, what do you if? mean? <laughs> what, what do you mean? What if? No, if someone like did a if trick it's on only gram- on Instagram, but it's never in a video part. Oh, then it's free range. It's on the gram. So you thinking uh, Ficky Trey, Ficky Manny, the Cordell stage on your video part? Me, I can't Ficky Trey up a curb, my boy. I don't know what the hell. Man. That's the thing. I, that's the thing. Me too. I, I say it all the time. It's like, say if I do a trick and I'm not happy with the way I landed it, and then I'm gonna be like, I do it all the time. I'm like, man, people are gonna be like, man, you could have done it so much better. Blah blah blah. blah. It, um, all right, you go do it. Do it better than me. That's fine with me. Fuck it. Like, yeah. if you're that passionate about like, I didn't do it as good as you thought it should be done, then you go do it and try to see how hard that shit was. Like, you know? Go try, that still try still, your luck. That shit will still get talk shit on, I think. Like, oh, That's what I'm do saying. It, it doesn't matter. It's gonna happen regardless. Did it. well, it's, regardless. Only, it's crazy how the progression of skateboarding is. There was, there was crazy. It also shows you the type of person someone is. Yes, true. that is true. true. That's true. True. But like, but what kind of person are you, Raj? You might just be feeling that trick that day and you don't even realize someone's shooting long lens. I don't know what kind of person are you, Raj? I'm just skating. Raj, what if Bagley? Yeah. <laughs> literally yeah. Yeah, we should we should like what if cut him this this episode and just yeah. what if what if what if what if what if what if do you think pj lag is bummed at people that skate to like no song no and that's no. not a song it's not a song yeah, it's, yeah. it's skateboarding noises. but like you you like associate that like him not skating to any music hey, hey, what if, his part. what, no, hey, hey, what sounds, if he like, what yeah. if he skated to a song could be great. Oh my god! Who knows? It's still PJ Led. Yeah, but even though with no song, there's certain the the noise to it is different. He like, had the same it, bearings yes. and same wheels. Yeah, it's, it's not the same. sounding the same. It's dude. not the same soundtrack. Know. It's not the same. Yeah. Not it's at not at the same. Ta- my listen part is not the same soundtrack uh-huh. as PJ Led. Exactly. Not at all. It's different sounds, different cracks, yep. that, all that stuff. Yep. Man, it's all different. Ledges, rails, all that different. Makes sense. That, that makes audio sense. track is not the same on both parts. No. Totally. Yep. No. And we really looped back to this shit. <laughs> I know. Crazy. We couldn't get away from it, bro. We could not yeah. get away it's from it. It's a fucking it. vortex. It's Jamie, what if <laughs> we wrap this up? Because yeah. you're the man, dude. It's straight always so up. much fun. Yeah. You got to come back again, dude. Man. We love man. rapping out with you, dude. Uh, yeah. I think, what I mean, if? we're doing this, I'm doing this ABD thing, and I think they said they wanted me to talk about it. Ooh. Hey. So I think, like, yeah, that'd be, because okay. I don't think I'm, gonna, when is, when I don't know if I'm going to be back here for a while, guys. Hey. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Let's talk about okay. it. Okay. No, no, they're, doing this, they're just doing a Tony Hawk. Yeah, one. they're doing yeah, a Tony Hawk thing yeah. right now, so it's cool. Like, uh, they, they they hit me up, and uh, it's really cool. I mean, it's just like any type of mem- memorabilia is mm-hmm. sick. I mean, I do have like certain things that I kept, certain things I can't get rid of. Okay, like uh, I think they want like I do have the board and the T-shirt that I front crooked El Toro with. Amazing. And he, I, th- they wanted to get that, and I just said I don't I don't know if I told him I didn't have it or if I did have it or whatever, <laughs> but I just that wasn't up for sale. Like, you know, for, like, that type of thing. Because, like, to me, like, that's something that, like, really changed my career. Okay. But we're doing this ABD Collectibles, which is sick because I'm super stoked on it. Because mm-hmm. it's, like, a really cool thing that they're doing. Like, giving, like, little pieces away. It's, like, yeah. a little piece of history. So, yeah. like, I gave them my trucks that I filmed my Ficky 5 on Hollywood 16. Sick. And oh, sick. Uh, I filmed majority of my tricks on in my Death Wish part. In the Uncross part, like, probably 75% of those tricks are with those trucks, too, as well. Wait, how are they doing? They're they're shaving it down. Yeah, and... that's the thing. He's trying to figure it out. But Damn, yeah, he's doing little little shavings. Little metal like shavings well, I think. Like... I think he's gonna like. Yeah, I think they're gonna like sl- try to slice them into little shavings, give them in the cards okay. and stuff. That's dope. So, yeah. dope. I'm super stoked about that. It's coming out like I think it may be after Tony's, but yeah, 
It's in the pipe. I'm super stoked that. on that. I know that Tori did his did his and stuff like that. His so. bigger bang. Is yours yeah. based on a video part as well? Yeah, exactly. Like mine's pretty much based on the Death Wish part. Death Wish. I would say because that's okay. like what I pretty much filmed all those tricks on with those trucks. Got I would say you. like probably the front crook, front feeble, and a lot of those stuff. What's gonna be okay. your legendary card? Uh, it's the face, a photo of a Feggy 5 on Hollywood 16. Right. Mm. And uh, yeah, it's the photo of that. And that's like the main thing that the trucks are from. And uh, I'm just super stoked to like team up with them and be a part of that whole thing. Because I mean, like starting with Mike Moe's like switch flip with that whole it's explosion. Movie, yeah. you know? yeah. It's, it's yeah. definitely a movement. It's a really cool thing. When they hit me up and like asked me about it, I was just like, man, I'd love to be a part of this in a way that I could. And it was funny because it was just like, he was asking me, but I was like, man, I don't really, ha all I had in my mind was like, oh, I got like my, I got my uh, front crook El Toro board and shirt, but uh, like. Yeah, that's hard to let go. Tough I don't know. Like, the yeah. Smithsonian wants it. Yeah. It's tough to <laughs> For me, I was like, man, this shit's like, it's just priceless. So yeah. I was like, I can't really, see. but then I had, but then he was asking me about other things. He's like, oh, like. Yeah, like a new part, like Figgy 5.0, it's a legendary trick. Like he was like, oh, you have the trucks from that? And I was like yeah and he was like super stoked to get that going i was like okay. i don't know how you're gonna make this work but he can melt them down yeah exactly yeah, so that's what he happen. said exactly yeah. he's gonna like he's like i'll figure it out man so yeah. i was like all right cool like so we got that going and i'm super right. stoked to like yeah, do that yeah. they got some rad shit going over there it's the beginning. It's go the follow beginning. them ABD yeah, still collectibles. The beginning. yeah. Uh, they're, they're just doing one with tony hawk i think yep. uh, the last nine uh, or 900 last yeah. 900 of last it's, 900 it's really cool. 900 cards yeah it's ramp i believe oh 900 card let's go yeah, it's just like, it's crazy because it's like, it's really cool because no one's done that in skating before. That's mm -hmm. what I thought was sick. Yeah. I mean, you always had baseball cards, basketball tried. cards. People have tried. There's I'm been sure some tried. trading cards coming out, but... But something like, that well, has a, like, a, something that, like, the person skated, right. like, you know, yeah. like, yeah. that's some... Like, the cards look special. amazing. Yeah. That's the what, cards they, no, they look, look I've never seen them in person, but on the, uh, they look amazing. They look couple. really high quality. Yeah. Like, yeah, I'd love to check yeah. it out. The, uh, and skateboarding is definitely like hands down, like never been done obviously, but yeah. it, it's being done in, obviously in the, in the sporting card world right yeah, now yeah, yeah. where they're using jerseys and stuff like that. Dude, but it's so sick. So like sick. being able to like, own like I think P Rod did one with his mm -hmm. shoes, you know. Yeah. It's like yeah. yeah, being able to own like yeah, as a kid, like you just like oh dude, P Rod's like shoe right here. And yeah. it's Mike Mo Capaldi, yeah, and his brother, Mike and his brother, Mike right? Maraska. That's what I was. Okay. So it's obviously going to be done with fucking love and yeah, respect. Yeah, no, that's what I, I knew it was and Mike done Moe, right. And, and I was like, anything with Mike Moe. Like, yeah. yeah, no doubt. Yeah. Look Which ones are wow, those? Wow, these are the Mike Moe ones. Oh, okay. Yeah, these Sick. Are great. Wow. And these are uh, sections of his shirt. Shirt, shirt from mm -hmm. the explosion. It comes in the case. Is there, they're yeah, this shit is next level. Yeah, that's yeah, what I'm saying. Really like, dope. I'm super, and that's the thing, like, I'm so stoked to like get something like this. Right. Oh man, it'd be so hyped. I'm I'm, I'm gonna be so hyped because we're doing it. So I'm super yeah. stoked. Hell yeah, dude! And like, I'm stoked yeah. for you, bro. This is super dope. No, nah, I'm I'm. This is stuff's really cool. I mean, it's a big like skate history buff thing. I mean, yeah. If you could like really do like, I mean, if you're like at the point of your life where you love skating that much and you can like spend 150, 200, whatever on something like this, it's like. It is kind of priceless because, like, that's something to me. Like, that explosion, like, this little t shirt had that happen. Like, mm -hmm. you know, it's just like. Let me see both of those insane. real quick. I just want to see the uh, comparison of the shirt. It's cool that they're all different cuts yeah. in the shirt you can tell. I know that's why we were talking about the truck thing. So I wonder exactly. He said something about shaving it off, maybe melting it down and, like, getting right. little, like, did, like, little coins. That'd be mm -hmm. cool. Oh, that would be oh, that'd fucking be sick. Like, a little sick. coin in the oh, corner. If you made it or into a coin. Yeah. Or, like, you know, it's like that go in the card. It's yeah, like, instead yeah. of where the t shirt part is, it's just like a little, like, coin or yeah. something that's yep. like of the metal yep i mean it's only 150 of these things that's the thing yeah. it's limited edition super that's cool I, like. I mean that's what i mean yeah. anything and it's tangible oh, yeah. you know nowadays i feel like a lot of people got cut yeah. up on like the whole like oh just yeah. on the internet you right know? That's right like, that shit I would way, like, I, my opinion i would rather have the card like, yeah hands I mean, down tangible like, and the NFT something you could like you yeah. could literally look at it at home and be like Sick, like it look, look yeah. look good on the wall or yeah, like yeah. a yeah. mantle or exactly, something whatever exactly. it is yeah. that's why I'm super stoked to like be a part of it and like get my mom something like that like oh she'll be like, yeah your no, parents will be stoked I'm like sure. super hopeful it's amazing because it's still this is the beginning of it it's like barely like well, you might be the the seventh yeah. or eighth you know what yeah, I mean something that like that so far yeah. it's like no I'm right. super stoked to be super a part cool. of that and like yeah no, just cool. be a part of that and like get that going because it's just something that when they hit me up I was really interested I was honestly I was like 
I was about to throw these trucks away, dude. You sure you want these things? Like, yeah, he's yeah. like, yeah, dude. I'm gonna, like, please. Like, I'm like, sick. No problem. Like, give him life. Like, right. yeah. I love hey. to get any life He'll live on anything, forever. You know? Yeah. yeah. That's why I'm super stoked on it. Especially with that part. Because, like I said earlier, that's one of my parts that, like, stands out a lot to me. Because it's a lot different, I would say, than a lot of my other parts. Which usually have, like, just, like, rap music or something that's different. It's, like, you know, a lot of different. It was, like, slow-mos and, like. And it was like, like I said, I have footage in the bank because Andrew didn't use everything. Mm -hmm. And it was crazy because at first, when I watched the Death Wish video at the uh, the premiere, I was just like, watch the whole video. I watched the whole video. I watched my part. I was so happy with it and the whole video, how it all came out. And then I was at the end of it. I was all like, damn, he didn't use this. He didn't use this. He didn't yeah. use this. He didn't use this. Like all things damn. I was really hyped on. So at first I was a little like bummed, mm. like, damn, he didn't use that stuff. But then I was like, wait a second. I was just so stoked, like, how it all came out. And, like, I didn't even notice that he didn't use that stuff. Yeah. Until after. Like, Until yeah. after. And I'm the person that did the stuff. Yeah. So, like. <laughs> do, you have people, a favorite, do you have a favorite part of yours? Uh, of mine? Yeah. I would say that one just because it's, like, he, Andrew, and obviously, obviously Andrew edited it. So, it's, like, one of my favorite parts. It's a team effort right there. Yeah. yeah it's just like, it's just Andrew like. Andrew Reynolds editing your part? It's fucking That's incredible. what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah. No, I'm mm -hmm. super stuck. It's yeah. cool. He does, like, edits, like, all the Baker Death Wish stuff. Like, it's so really. Sick. And that's what's cool about, like, it's like, you know, like, you could talk to him about, he always, like, oh, come in the, come in the office. Check this out. Like, he brought me in one time to watch a 30 second slow mo clip. He's like, how sick was that? <laughs> I'm like, really wow okay cool like <laughs> I, like it was dope but like you literally showed me like it was like not even the skating clip it was like just the run-up slow-mo throwing down or something yeah and with just like section of the song he's like dude that shit is, is gonna be really hard like this is gonna be the beginning it's gonna be so sick i'm like wow like this is amazing how like in tune you are and how yeah. much you love to do this stuff yeah. like it's just like he's so hyped on anything it's it like shows. yeah, yeah. And it, like, it when does. you watch the videos like you're, they're, they're it's passion hyped. like yeah. there's real stuff happening that's yeah. what's like cool about it like to me and like so I love being a part of that like camp, like that that group of people is like such a fun group of people to be around. People that have been Dude, so many different places, like been down below, up top. The Shrimp like, Lung video this year. Yeah, Shrimp Lung. That was like one of my one, favorite videos this such year. Such a fun Killed video, it. dude. Yeah. Like, yeah. dude, it's filming like the skits for that stuff was so yeah. funny. Yeah. Like, yeah. I mean, that's what I love, just being with those dudes, skating like with those guys. Like those guys don't, you, you don't have to go skating with the Baker guys all day or Baker or Death Wish dudes all the time. Like mm -hmm. I can still skate with my homies. That can bring my homies on a session, and it's all like it's just a big family. It's yeah, so sick, dude. Totally. And now I got like a lot of my friends coming in, like Noah Pollard and uh, Sean O'Connor. He's just like they just put out that little video. Uh, like Sean O'Connor, he just turned like Am mm, for Death Wish. Okay. I grew up with him, and uh, he's from Boca. Like it's sick. I'm super proud of him, and super stoked that he like just like all of a sudden it was cool because it was random. Like I didn't even like mention him to Andrew or nothing. It was just like we were skating, and then one day Andrew's like yo, who's your friend? Like, he skates sick. Like, oh, he's always around with the homies. He's, like, a good fit. Like, maybe we could give him boards. And then, like, that, he started giving him boards, and then that gassed him up. Yeah. And he got all That's hyped. And he was just like, up. you know, he's like, know. oh, sick. And then I'm, like, I'm telling him, too. I, I let him know. I'm like, yo, like, I didn't say anything to Andrew. Like, that's all on you. Like, yeah. right. that's all, like, him noticing you. So you just keep Run doing with that. that. Run with that, bro. And, you know, you're going to be great. So it's, it's cool because Andrew really notices, like, a lot of things like people that like just hang around like sometimes like he just really he'll think about it like yeah. oh like yeah he's hanging around but like he's sick like he sees a big he sees a big picture he, he does. can spot talent too he can way. yeah he big he really can so yeah. it's like yeah I'm so hyped to be a part of that thing and and that uh, he gives me kind of like a free range with Death Wish he's like always down he's like whatever you want to do like whatever like you you got ideas or you got you see kids or whatever Rad. like let me know like. So it's super cool to be a part of that such a big group and such a group of people that I grew up watching. Hell yeah. That was the main thing too. Like that was oh, one of the man. biggest, like it was like zero Baker videos. You know, it was like those are the two main camps in my mind growing up. It's like you're on that crew or this crew. Like, you know? Mm. Yep. That was like the two coolest crews. And yeah, now it's just cool. like to be a part of the Baker Deathwish team, Baker Boys is just like such a big family. It's something that I couldn't even like fathom and something that just happened organically thankfully uh -huh. mm -hmm. and it's just like so stoked to be there well bro. dude you're doing it man i mean the, you got the dough you got the death wish new balance uh dickies yeah. red i mean dude come on man oh, i'm still you're, I'm you're, you're, you're killing it. it you're Thank doing you, it bro you Thank go a long way it. man it's fucking i awesome. appreciate it man yeah, yeah. no nah, i mean life's been crazy it's only been like like really five years is like i mean it's happened so fast you yeah, know yeah, yeah. but like a lot has changed uh for the better too like 
I'm learning so many things, always trying to learn from my uh, my surroundings mm -hmm. and everything. But then also like, you know, just stoked that I could like be where I'm at in life, like getting a house in Florida, getting a house out here, like being able to like, oh, like, yeah, my friends, you guys need, like, cause rent went up, you know, it's like, oh, like, but you guys could just live with me, you know, it's cool. Oh, like, yeah. like, you know, I you're even able to do that. Yeah, know? exactly. Yeah. Like Put that we're like, yeah, I can put my friends in a good spot too. Mm. Like we were like, yeah, you got your own room. We got like whatever you need. Then it's like, and it's like something like, like I'm the, I'm, I'm the, technically the landlord. So it's yeah. like, they ever yeah. have a problem. Like, <laughs> they got to call Jamie. Yeah, yeah. It's like, it's easy. It's mortgage, like, guys. Yeah, it's, like, it's like, it's like, it's also easy though. Like, yo, something's wrong at the house. I'm like, all right, well, yeah, we'll get it figured out. Like, yeah. You know, it's just like, cool. It's like, and it's also nice to be able to have people there. It's like something goes awry, like someone's there to like not really, maybe not take care of it, but at least alert me to something, <laughs> right. which is cool. Like, totally. So it's always nice to have people, people you around. trust. Exactly. Yeah, always. Yeah, yeah, for sure. That's the thing. Most of the people I hang out with, dude, I've I've probably known at least like the minimum is like seven years. Dope. Like eighty percent of the people I hang out with on a day to day basis, I've known for at least at least seven years of my oh, life. Yeah. So it's like you know, not a lot of whole new. Not a lot of new people. Mm. Some new people that brought get brought in, and it's just like you know, it's just like sick because like they get brought into the group, and then it's just like feels like I've known them for that long, and right. it's just always it's gonna be the matter of no time that I've known them for fifteen plus years, you know. Yeah. So it's like it's like sick, you know. I love skating. It's just like the thing that's like brought so many awesome things to me, and like things that like you know, like like things that I've been like, oh man, like I want to like dig my life into it, but thankfully like gave back, like you know, it's just like oh, something yeah. that really planned out. I love it, dude. I appreciate I love it. it. Thank you you. got to come back. We love, yeah, we'll have another argument when you come back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It'll be, <laughs> we always have a good one. I know. We're all yeah, yeah, yeah. We talk about like discussion. The, hey, if, you know my, if you talk to my friends, they say I'm, I'm not argumentative, but you know, I like a, I like a good heated discussion. <laughs> okay. He yeah. likes to have a discussion. I yeah. love a heated <laughs> discussion. Yeah. As, we, as, we, as we do too. Hey man, there's nothing more than, you know, clashing minds and finding stuff out. You don't, exactly. you don't know. If you don't ask questions or something, you, know, you don't find stuff out. You know, I don't know. You gotta chill on that. Yeah. <laughs> Can't what if everything yeah, to the ground. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. But, but you don't know everything. You gotta yeah. be like, but actually. But actually, <laughs> what if? Dude, Jamie, thank you so much for coming. Appreciate it. Right. Come back, back anytime you want. Doors always open, hey, dude. Appreciate it. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. That was dope. Thank you, Jamie. Oh, yeah, yeah, no problem. Jamie. Thank you guys. Mm -hmm.